What if Goku was born as a Super Saiyan 4? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Now before we begin this what if, we're gonna have to understand the multiplier for Super Saiyan 4. It is a range between 4,500 to 5,000 times the base power but for here, we're gonna make the multiplier for Goku to be over 5,000. So yeah, exactly 5,000. So let's begin the what if. Planet Vegeta. The home of the Saiyans that lived there for many years were doing everything they can to obey Frieza's family's order. King Cold was the ruler as he continued to tell them what to do and send them to missions and give them gear. In return, they would have to go and be planet brokers. One day, King Cold decided to give up this throne to Frieza as he has become now the ruler for Universe 7 and you could say the ruler for the Saiyans. All the Saiyans had to obey and listen to Frieza's order, as most of them did not agree and like the fact that Frieza kept giving random orders and he was very selfish. One day, Frieza ordered for King Vegeta to give his son Vegeta to him, as King Vegeta did not like that idea and he did not want to give his son, but he had no choice. It was either give his son or die right there. With that, King Vegeta decided to bite the bullet and he let Frieza go and take Vegeta but he had an idea of how to get him back. While he was planning how to get his idea back, it was the year 737. Gine has now given birth to a baby boy, and they decided to name him Kakarot, but he wasn't no ordinary boy. Once when she delivered Kakarot, everyone there was extremely confused along with Bardock, as they had no idea what the hell came out of Gine's stomach. It wasn't no ordinary Saiyan baby, it was a baby that was very furry, you could say a furry baby, as everyone was extremely shocked and they couldn't believe that this baby looked like the way he did. No one has anticipated such a look for a child. Everyone thought that Gine probably went off and had an affair with some type of ape and gave birth to that, but they had no idea what that is but little did they knew, it was a birth of a Super Saiyan 4 in base. Bardock has now returned right back from his mission as he got the news that his son Kakarot was born and that he was completely abnormal and that he did not look like a normal human. Upon hearing that got Bardock really shocked as he went to check it out and when he saw Kakarot he couldn't believe the way how his son looked but also what got Bardock to be even more shocked along with the other few Saiyans that were there were Kakarot's power level. Once when they went and they started to scan his power level, it came up to be 25,000. Kakra was the only Saiyan to be ever born at a base of a 25,000 power level. As they continued to scan to see if it's true or not because they did not want to accept the fact that Kakra is this strong. The strongest Saiyan to ever be born was Broly who was the legendary Super Saiyan and his power level was 930 while Prince Vegeta's power level was 900. King Vegeta when he heard that Broly's power level was that high out of spite and jealousy, he decided to go and get Broly to be disbanded and send him to another planet. But now if he heard that Kakarot is born at a 25,000 power level, who knows what he'll do with that. With that the news has spread around the planet that Kakarot was born abnormal, he did not look like a normal human being. And what makes it worse is that his power level was over 25,000. Everybody was very confused and he didn't believe it until the news hit King Vegeta. A Saiyan nevertheless the son of Bardock was born with a power level of over 25,000 while his son was only born with a power level of 900 got him extremely angry as he wanted to go and get Kakarot to be disbanded or this is a chance to kill him. But at the same time he didn't know if he was strong enough. None of the Saiyans there were powerful enough to be over 25,000. King Vegeta got very scared as he came to confront Bardock and said, What the hell is wrong with your child? Hey, what do you mean? How is he over 25,000? It doesn't make sense! 
He's stronger than your ass, so what are you gonna do about that? I know what you did with Perigus' son. Are you gonna try to do something with my son? Uh, don't attack me, Bardock! You don't attack me, Vegeta! You may be my king, but don't forget who's the stronger one here. And also, don't forget whose son is the more powerful one here. Pah! Your son looks like some ugly looking ape! Doesn't matter, he's so far stronger than you and your entire bloodline. You wanna do something about that? As Bolton got very angry, but from there, King Vegeta knew that he has to go and rescue his son since Frieza took him in his grasp. Bardock then heard about King Vegeta trying to go and get his son back, but from there, he looked towards him and said, Also, there's something I gotta tell you, shithead. Hey, learn to talk to your king properly. And what is it? I heard that Frieza's gonna destroy this planet anytime soon. I don't know, when I was on my mission and after I confronted one of his men, they mentioned about Frieza trying to rule this universe, but first thing he wants to get rid of us because he's afraid of us being this strong. He what? Hmm. <clears throat> Whatever. So we have to fight. He took my son. I don't care what he does. I gotta get him back. I have an idea. While Bardock was explaining his idea to King Vegeta, Frieza on the other hand was in his ship as news came towards him and said, My lord, it would appear that there is a Saiyan that was born on planet Vegeta and his power level is very strong, not to mention he's kind of born out normal. <laughs> very strong you say, huh, Sarban? And how strong are we talking? I would say somewhere around over 20,000, my lord. What? How can a baby be that strong? It doesn't make any sense. My lord, what do you plan to do? <sighs> These monkeys always have their way to get strong, huh? They even have that myth called Super Saiyan. I got it. I'm gonna go and destroy that planet now. After all, I was ordered by that bastard Beerus to destroy it. Well then, my lord, I say we go and do it now. It'll take us a few days. We are far away from here, but get the ship ready. Let's go. As Frieza went and he began making his way towards Planet Vegeta. Back on Planet Vegeta, Bardock then told King Vegeta his idea and that was to get all the Saiyans to eradicate from Planet Vegeta and go to another planet and take over it and make that be their home planet without Frieza knowing where that is and that Kakarot could be the savior for all the Saiyans. Since they do know that Frieza's power level is around you could say over definitely 90,000 around even more than 500,000 they did not want to gamble this but their idea was for Goku to be the one to defeat Frieza since at birth he is at 25,000 he has a chance to train and make sure his power level grows and therefore when the time comes he could easily kill Frieza once and for all. King Vegeta kind of liked that idea as he decided to go with that plan but the only problem was that he couldn't rescue Vegeta right now. He would have to wait at least a few years for Goku to grow in order to go and rescue his son as he decided to go and to go with that plan and with that all the Saiyans within the last two days managed to get the ship ready and eradicate from planet Vegeta and they decide to go to planet Mars and make planet Mars their new home planet since that planet had some oxygen which no one knew about and they decide to go live in that planet. Freeze on the other hand has now arrived to planet Vegeta. Without wasting any time he went and he powered up a blast as is getting ready to destroy it but Zarbon sensed that there was no one there and said, my lord, it would appear there's no one inside this planet. What? Are you telling me that the Saiyans has managed to leave their home planet? Where did it go? I have no idea my lord, but check yourself. As Frieza decided to go inside planet Vegeta and he saw it was eradicated. No one was there. Seeing that got him extremely angry as he said, These bastards plan to get themselves strong enough to kill me one day, huh? I see what's their idea. Okay then, I'll see what they can do. They have no idea that I have different transformations. Ha! <laughs> they can do whatever they want. At the end of the day, they'll still lose to me. Frieza then went and destroyed planet Vegeta since he was in the tension to do so as that planet has been destroyed but he has no idea which planet the rest of the Saiyans has shifted to. On planet Mars, everyone has shifted there as they realize that Goku's growth continued to go very fast. Compared to ordinary Saiyans in just a few months, he has already grew you could say 5 years into age. Since Super Saiyan 4 has the ability to have increased everything when it comes to your body, also, Super Saiyan 4 does need to have 
an adult body for it to use its true potential otherwise it will crush the child's body but it has a very good cell which allows the body to grow in a very fast pace as six months has passed and Goku's already a five-year-old boy and with that Bardock noticed that his son is growing very fast so he decided to go and start training his son and with that one year has passed and Goku has now transformed and grown into a 10 year old boy. With that Bardock continued to go and train Goku everything he knows as he wanted Goku to be the one to kill Frieza. While Goku has grown not just only his physical size but his power level has grown a lot in just one year where he was 25,000 at birth and now Goku's at 250 million. Son. I'm just impressed of how much you're growing and your power is really getting amazing. <laughs> Thanks, father. By the way, you think I'm strong enough now to take on Frieza? I'll say it, you might be. To if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. A few years has passed since the Saiyans has now come to planet Mars and they made that planet their home planet. This wasn't no ordinary change. They had to do this so they could avoid Frieza and wait until Goku is strong enough to go and take down Frieza once and for all and therefore he'll finally set the Saiyans to be free. Bardock on the other hand took the responsibility to do everything he can in his power to go and train Goku since technically he is the strongest Saiyan there. King Vegeta's power level is around 11,000, Bardock is 15,000 and therefore he took the charge to make sure that Goku will be the one to be much stronger than everyone as he continued to do everything he can to train Goku and with a lot of self training too since Goku is far stronger than Bardock, his power level continued to grow at a very fast pace as Goku continued to go and make progress. And as you know it, a few years has passed and now everyone were ready to go and try to get their mission done and that is to get the prince to be back to planet Vegeta or you could say planet Mars which they renamed to planet Vegeta. King Vegeta has not dropped that idea yet to get Prince Vegeta to join them as he was very eager to do everything he can to find his way to go to Frieza and get Vegeta but from there Bardock told him that he needs to wait until Goku is strong enough. From that King Vegeta and Bardock had a dispute as he did not agree with Bardock but from there Goku realized that the strongest Saiyan should be the one who is the ruler of all the Saiyans as he looked towards King Vegeta and said you know what I don't think you're a fit to become the ruler for this race you are not fit to be the ruler here hmm hey how dare you you pick sweet who do you think you're talking to I am royal blood it is meant for me to be the ruler of all the Saiyans it was before but now we're no longer inside planet Vegeta we are inside planet Mars and from now on I revoke for you to be the king of this planet and who you think you are giving me this ultimatum that you revoke it how about you fight me then after all all the Saiyans has a right to fight the king and the winner becomes a king do you want to fight me uh, uh, with that King Vegeta didn't know what to say since he knew that if he were to fight Goku he would get one shot as Goku looked towards him with anger and said well then do you give me the kingship or not? <sighs> Fine! I have no choice, whatever, it's yours! Well then, if that's the case, Father, I officially appoint you to be the king of this planet. What? Me? Why me, son? You're much stronger! I don't care about that, Father. I'm here to be your best man. I'm with the and can to support you, along with Big Brother Raditz, ain't that right? Uh, yeah, I guess Kakarot's right, Father! Well then what do you say father? You could become the king of this planet. Uh, wow, I never thought me becoming the king of the Saiyans one day, but sure, why not? Wait, so does that mean I and you Kakor are the prince of the Saiyans? <laughs> Looks like Vegeta is going to get very salty when he finds out. With that, all the Saiyans has now bowed towards Bardock, their new king of the planet since they have now shifted planet Vegeta and they all agreed that the strongest one should be the ruler but because Goku does not want to be the ruler he appointed his father to be the king as Bardock after Goku is the strongest one on that planet. With that Bardock looked towards King Vegeta and said 
Well, first thing is first is I want all our Saiyans to reunite. Tell me, where did you exile your son? I'm talking about Tarbo. I know he's still out there. She's a weakling. Why do you want him? Doesn't matter. He's a Saiyan. And also, where is Broly? I know you exiled him because you're jealous that his power level was stronger than the prince. Oh, how do you guys know all this? Everyone knows your dirty secret, Vegeta. Now tell us, where did you exile Broly to? I sent him to a planet called Vampa. It's not that far from here. Planet Vampa, huh? Alright, Kakarot. Yes, father. You and Raditz go to planet Vampa with an extra spaceship and get Broly and his father back. I know Paragus went there with him. We could sure use their help too. After all, my goal is to have all the Saiyans to be reunited with one another. Sounds like a goal, father. Okay, let's go. As Goku and Raditz went and they got their spaceship ready and from there they have departed from planet Mars, making their way towards planet Vampa. After a few hours, the Saiyans has now arrived to planet Vampa. Once when they got to planet Vampa, they were really disgusted to see how bad the planet was as there was nothing but bugs there and giant animal. Kakarot then began to go and sense where they are as he could feel Broly's power level along with Paragus. Raditz and Kakarot went and made their way towards Broly and Paragus where Paragus was shocked to see them and said, Hey, wait, you guys are Saiyan! And what the? What are you? My name is Kakarot, and yes, I'm also a Saiyan. We're here to save you guys. Uh, okay, and please, yeah, save us! We're tired of living this place. My son and I have been stuck here for the past who knows how long. It's been maybe, what, three years? Don't worry, the new king of all the Saiyans has ordered for you to come back. New king? What happened to King Vegeta? He has been revoked of being the king. That's why the new king has invited you for you to come back. And who's the new king? King Bardock. Upon hearing that got Paragus to be a little happy since he had no problem with Bardock. And with that, Bardock has invited both Paragus and Broly to come join him on the new planet Saiyans. With that, they have left the planet Vampa and they made their way towards the new planet. This planet is now known to be called Planet Saiyans. It is not called Planet Vegeta or anything else. Bardock decided to name this planet Planet Saiyans. Once when they arrived back to Planet Saiyans, Bardock saw Paragus and Broly as he greeted them while Paragus was very angry towards King Vegeta and with that he went and decked him across his face but Vegeta went and dodged it and he decked him back, getting Paragus to fall to the ground. Broly saw that as he got really angry and from there Broly charged right towards King Vegeta and he striked him in his guts, getting him to gasp for air. Broly then was about to go and attack him but Goku went and he pinned him down and said, Calm down Broly, we're not supposed to fight, remember? Goku for some reason was able to calm Broly down as he calmed down and from there Paragus and Broly both apologized for their behavior and now they have become part of the Saiyan race. Bardock then continued to go and rule the entire Saiyans as his plan was to make everything right for the Saiyans and their job was to protect other people and not hurt them since Bardock never agreed with Frieza's idea of taking over planet and killing all innocent life just for Frieza they are now going to go and take over bad planets and turn it into good planet and therefore they are going to do everything they can to survive and as you know it more years has passed as Bardock and the rest of the Saiyans continue to go and do their good deeds while that was happening Frieza after 8 years got the message on the new location of planet Saiyans upon hearing about the planet Saiyans got Frieza very shocked as Zarbon came towards him and said well, it appears, my lord, that all the Saiyans on planet Vegeta has now taken over planet Mars and they made that their home planet. <sighs> planet Mars? That was under our skin this entire time! You mean those monkeys were able to escape my wrath for the last eight years? No more. Okay then, how about Zarbon, you set a course towards that new planet and also bring Vegeta? I'm gonna make him be the one to kill the rest of the Saiyan race. Uh, are you sure about that, my lord? Do you think Vegeta's ready? He's more than ready. I could vouch for that. After all, he's gonna witness me slaughter his entire family. He'll have no choice but to be loyal towards me. But also, we got the news, my lord. What is it, Dodoria? It appears that King Vegeta is no longer the king of the planet. It is now Bardock. He has become the king. Bardock? I heard of him. 
Wasn't he the one who did most of the mission completed for me? Ha! So he is now the ruler of the Saiyans. Doesn't matter. Nothing compared to me. Let's go. As Frieza and the rest of his men begun making their way towards Planet Vegeta. Or you can say now Planet Saiyans since it has been changed. And as you know it, with the 5 year gap they had after bringing Bardock back and making him be the king and having Paragus and Broly come back, it has been now 5 years since the Saiyans been doing everything they can to be good and save all the planet. Goku on the other hand has now finally grown due to his Saiyan DNA of Super Saiyan 4, he is now a full fledged adult. As Goku continues to do everything he can to meditate and get himself a lot stronger. A son. <laughs> yes, father. What is it? Um, I'm really going towards planet Eunice. I want to see what's going on there. <laughs> you want my company, father? No, I want you to hold on this planet and see what happens. If anything happens, you know what to do. Of course, father. You can leave it to me. Hey, Kakarot. Why always do you get all the shine, brother? Give me some. <laughs> From there, Bardock was about to leave but everyone saw Frieza and his man has now arrived towards the planet as Bardock looked with anger and said, That bastard is here! Hmm, bring it on then. With that, the spaceship has arrived as Frieza got out and from there they all saw that Vegeta has also come while Frieza looked to the rest of the Saiyan and said, I see this is your new location, monkey! Very interesting! Tell me, who is the king? Alright, what was his name? Bardock? Frieza! What the hell are you doing here? Ha! <laughs> you managed to escape me for the last eight years, but now your race is going to die here once and for all. Over my dead body! You want to fight the Saiyan race? Well, you got the strongest one right in front of you. How about you take on me, Frieza? Oh, really? And what the hell are you? What is this, a walking monkey? <laughs> I think you guys took your name a little too serious and you became a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Say whatever you want. The result will still be the same. To find out what happens, make sure you click the bell, my Z fans, to be the first to know what happens in the next episode, as Frieza has now finally discovered the Saiyans, and he's ready to go and destroy them, but Goku's not going to allow that. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Ha! So you think you can defeat me, monkey? But well, one thing, tell me, why do you actually look like a monkey? <laughs> Appearance can be just a little deceiving trick, Frieza. What matters is how the power is. Do you think you're ready to take on someone as powerful as me? <laughs> Did you just call yourself powerful? What a worthless monkey. You don't stand a chance. I guess I have to go give you a bananas to distract you, huh? <laughs> you and your racist comments, I could see you really like to make fun of us. But you know what's more funny? The fact that you're gonna die by a monkey. <laughs> Imagine that. The one thing you fear the most is the one that's gonna kill you. <laughs> How dare you! As Frieza went and he powered up his key while Goku smiled and with that their battle has begun. Frieza went and he charged right towards Goku and he striked him in his face but Goku stood still as his fist felt like nothing to him. With that Frieza went and he continued to kick Goku but saw Goku wasn't even phased by it as Goku looked towards him and said, please tell me this is not all the power you got Frieza. <laughs> I must admit, you are quite impressive. I will not believe it if I didn't see it in my own eyes. Okay then, how about I use one of my transformation? As Frieza went and he transformed. Everyone was very shocked on seeing Frieza's new power since they had no idea that he has transformation while Frieza looked towards Goku and said, 
Do you still think you could beat me in this form, monkey? <laughs> all you did was just look uglier. You haven't changed at all. Huh? The disrespect, monkey! As Frieza went and he tried right towards Goku, and he striked him, but Goku again felt nothing. As he let Frieza hit him, and with that, Goku went and he headbutted Frieza right in the head, getting the top part of his crystal to crack as Frieza fell right towards the ground. Frieza was extremely shocked and speechless as he couldn't believe that someone like Goku, who is a Saiyan nevertheless, had the ability and strength to do that to him. As he got really angry and said, How dare you! You haven't seen my wrath yet, monkey! <laughs> I'm supposed that you still have more power than this. Okay, then I'll tell you the truth. I have been holding back a lot. I have a power that could easily wipe anything out. Do you want to see it? Oh, please. I've been waiting to see your power, Frieza. Okay then, monkey. I'll show you my real power. Behold! Frieza has now gone and transformed into his final form. All the Saiyans were trembling in fear as they couldn't believe that Frieza had such power and since Frieza does want to kill them got them even more scared. But Bardock smiled as he knew that his son is the one to destroy Frieza once and for all and said, What do you think monkey? This is my true power. Now it's time for you to die. <laughs> Frieza! You stupid bastard! Do you think a silly little transformation like that is going to affect Kakarot? No, my son's going to kill you here and now. <laughs> I'm amazed, Frieza. You continue to impress me with your small power-up. But tell me, do you got more power than this? Or is this all the power that you got? Huh? What kind of monkey are you? How dare you make fun of me? <laughs> and you call me a monkey. You see the difference right there? I think the true lizard here is you! As Goku went and he kneed Frieza right in his stomach, getting Frieza to gasp for air and he spat out blood. Frieza couldn't believe that Goku was this strong since Frieza's power level at his final form was at 200 roughly while Goku in his base was at 900. Goku was holding back a lot because he still didn't want to show Frieza his power. Frieza couldn't believe what he was fighting as he went and he began to attack Goku with everything he's got. Frieza went and kicked Goku in the stomach and he uppercut Goku as he came from the back and he stacked him right in his spine, getting Goku to fall to the ground. Frieza then came right in front of Goku as he looked towards him and said, Ha! Looks like that finally gave you some damage, monkey. Now time to give you more. Frieza went and he continued to punch Goku in his face non-stop. All the Saiyans were completely confused on how is this possible until they heard Goku laugh and say, <laughs> Your punches, Frieza. They're actually lighter than a feather. Huh? My turn. Goku went and he decked Frieza across his cheek, getting Frieza to be sent flying meters away, but that deck was strong enough to get Frieza to break down, as he couldn't believe that Goku was this powerful. Goku came right next to him as he looked towards him with anger and said, I told you you will die right here. You never stood a chance. And to make it worse, he's just a monkey, right? You're done, Frieza. Your power is nothing compared to ours. But, ow! I'm not done yet, monkey! Frieza went and he powered up to his 100%. You know what's your problem, Frieza? You could use all these power up, but I won't do nothing for you. What do you mean? <laughs> you never train, have you? That's the reason why you're so arrogant. That's the reason why you're going to lose. Frieza at his 100% was trying to not be phased by Goku Super Saiyan 4 power. As he rushed right towards Goku and he striked him in his stomach, but Goku wasn't even phased by it. Goku brushed it off and punched Frieza in his face. As Frieza was bleeding from his mouth and from there Goku went and he began to beat the shit out of him as he continued to punch Frieza non-stop. Frieza was completely broken down since he couldn't handle the power of a Super Saiyan 4 nevertheless and with that Goku looked towards him as he said, 
You're a pathetic lizard. It's time you die right here. Now die! Goku went and shined a blast right towards Frieza's face and aimed it. As the blast hit him head on and he died right there. All the Saiyans and everyone couldn't believe what they are witnessing as they saw that Goku managed to go and easily toy with Frieza and nevertheless killed him once and for all as the wrath of dealing with Frieza was finally broken. Frieza's army couldn't believe what they witnessed as they saw that Super Saiyan 4 Goku easily beat their master and with that they decided to go and disband themselves since they had no other choice but they did have one opportunity. They all decided before disbanding to go to where's Frieza's father, King Cold. Goku on the other hand was busy celebrating with the rest of the Saiyans as they were extremely proud of Goku while Bardock hugged him and said, I'm so proud of you son, you have done a huge thing for the Saiyan race, we're no longer dealing with that bastard. Hmm, <laughs> I told you father, I'm here to always have your back. While they're all celebrating, some of Frieza's men came to King Cold's spaceship as King Cole looked towards him and said, What are you guys doing in my spaceship? <clears throat> my lord, we come to bear you the bad news. Your son Frieza has died to a Saiyan. What? How could a Saiyan touch my son? Not just that, my lord. He easily killed him by just toying with him. What the? No way. With that, Frieza's man told King Cole about how Frieza died as King Cole got really angry hearing that and from there he decided to go and train for a few days so he can get a new power up so he can kill Goku and destroy the new Saiyan race since they're all living on planet Saiyans. Okay then that's where they are, I'll destroy them myself. Get the Ginyu Force and everyone to come join us. Uh, sure but my lord, are you sure you think you can beat him? Who do you think is stronger between me and my son? I am obviously stronger than him. If he lost easily, I will not give that monkey any chance to beat me. Well then if I are you my lord, you should try beginning training. Don't worry about that, I have everything under cover. In about a week, we will go and infiltrate that planet and destroy that Saiyan. While that was happening back on planet Saiyans, all the Saiyans continued to celebrate and throw a parade for Goku since he managed to go and kill Frieza and they continued to upgrade their world and continued to go on a mission. Goku on the other hand continued to go and meditate and train a lot and as you know it, a few weeks has passed as they continue to live their life but then they saw a space pod has now arrived to where is their planet. Once when they went to check it out, it was no one other than Prince Vegeta or you can say ex-Prince since his father is no longer the king. Vegeta finally managed to escape Frieza's planet and he came here as all the Saiyans were shocked to see that Vegeta is back while King Vegeta went and he hugged his son and he was so happy that he has finally come back. With that Vegeta looked towards him and said, Father tell me, you're no longer the king of this planet? No, Bardock is. Bardock? How dare he take our kingship? Hey relax. Huh? I'm the one that made him the king. You have issue with that Vegeta? You're no longer the prince. And who are you? <laughs> I guess you could say, I'm Prince Kakarot. I took your role. Uh, what? Son, he's also the one that killed Frieza. Wait, you killed Frieza? And what kind of power are you using? Vegeta had time to gap through the new Goku since he's never seen someone like this before but when he was told that Goku was born this way, he had no idea what to do but he had to accept that since he does want to be part of the Saiyan race. With that all the Saiyans continued to enjoy but it was very less time they could enjoy as everyone saw a group of space bot has now arrived to where's planet Saiyans as it was King Cold and his men. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. King Cold and his man has now infiltrated on planet Saiyans since he had nothing but vengeance in his mind but he didn't come just like that he has come prepared as he's ready to go and rip Goku from limb to limb and do everything he can to avenge his son. King Cole's plan was to destroy the entire planet once and for all so that no one can ever arise again and try to challenge the Frieza family as his idea was to destroy the entire planet and kill all the Saiyans but starting with Goku. 
With that, one of his men came towards him and said, My lord, are you ready? This is it now. Of course I'm ready. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? After you told me that he killed my son Frieza. Although I am stronger than Frieza, I took a little measure. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed my lord. You were gone for almost over two and a half weeks. That's because I was doing nothing but training for those two and a half weeks. And yes, I'm ready to do everything I can. Well then, we're here now, Planet Vegeta. Or you could say the new planet known as Planet Saiyan. Very well then. While that was happening, Goku and everyone saw that King Cole's space spot has arrived as Goku looked towards it and said, What the? Why does that spaceship look like Frieza's? That's because that is not Frieza! Huh? That is King Cole, Frieza's father! And I'm pretty sure that bastard is here to destroy us! After all, you killed their son, Kakarot! They want nothing but vengeance now! <laughs> you think I'm worried? I'll destroy him before he can do anything. I'm not doubting your power! I'm just saying, he's here with the whole force. Well then, before we go into battle, Vegeta, what else you got? You got any more strength within you? <laughs> you, who do you think I am? I was once a prince of all Saiyan, and my plan was to kill Frieza myself, but I guess you beat me to it. I guess I'll be the one to defeat his father. <laughs> Is that so? And how do you think you can do it? Just watch! As everyone saw that the space door has opened, and from there, it was King Cole as the Ginyu forces were also with him. With that, King Cole has now landed as he looked around and said, Tell me, which one of you guys are Kakarot? I heard he's the one that killed my son, Frieza. King Cole! What the? What are you doing here on my planet? Oh, if it isn't you, Bardock. I don't got time to deal with you right now. Tell me, who is the one that killed my son? <laughs> it was my son, and that's King Bardock to you. Oh, is that so, you arrogant fool? Have you forgotten your place? <laughs> I haven't, but I clearly know that you have. Is that so? Before King Cole could do anything, Vegeta then called him out and said, Hey, Cole! Huh? Oh, if it isn't Vegeta, what the hell are you doing here? And how did you leave my son alone? You're supposed to be by his side. <laughs> I'm ashamed that he died, because I was the one to kill that bastard. What did you say? You wanna know something, Cold? I have come prepared. I'm gonna make sure I kill you here and now! As Vegeta went and he screamed. Yeah! Vegeta has now transformed into a Super Saiyan. Upon seeing that got all the Saiyans to be shot, as they saw that the myth of legend has come true, and that someone has finally transformed into a Super Saiyan. Not even Goku himself was able to do that. Although Goku's power level is a Super Saiyan 4, so why would he need Super Saiyan 1? But still, the fact of him transforming into a Super Saiyan, no one has done that, as Vegeta is the first one and he's continued to prove why he deserved to be the prince of all Saiyans, but he knew he couldn't stand a chance against Goku. With that, he looked towards Goku and said, Kakarot, please let me handle this one. I'm gonna kill this bastard. Uh, sure. I don't mind. Oh, Kakarot. So I take it you're the one who... Before King Cole could say another word, Vegeta went and he uppercut King Cole, getting to be sent flying high in the air. With that, Vegeta followed as he struck him right in his back. King Cole fell right towards the ground. Once when King Cole got up, he saw Vegeta went and he charged right towards him as he began to throw a lot of key blasts right towards King Cole. Some of Vegeta's key blasts hit Cole's men as he died right there while the Ginyu forces went and they charged their power and they rushed right towards Vegeta. Vegeta got mad that they interfered as he went and struck Ginyu right in his stomach and from there, he began to beat the shit out of the Ginyu force. Although they're all against him, Vegeta was holding his own since he did transform into a Super Saiyan. Vegeta was able to get this power during his training as he continued to do a lot of training just so that he could be that warrior to kill Frieza since Frieza did kind of, you could say, be scared of a Super Saiyan. Vegeta wanted him to be the one to transform into one, but because he couldn't use it against Frieza, he is using it against his father. While Vegeta was busy fighting the Ginyu forces, the other Saiyans came to help him along with his father, while Goku saw King Cole stare at him and said, Tell me, 
You're Kakarot, right? <laughs> That's me. And yes, I'm the one that killed your son. Uh, how dare you! I could see that. I could tell by your eyes you don't even care. <laughs> Why would I care about killing something that ugly? And I guess you came here to destroy my race, right? I'll kill you too! As Goku and King Cole stared at one another, and with that, their battle has begun. King Cole went and he rushed right towards Goku, but Goku easily dodged it as he kneed him right in his stomach, getting King Cole to spit out blood, and from there Goku punched him. King Cole got sent flying meters away. King Cole then got up as Goku came right next to him and said, Please, you're so weak. Your son is far stronger than this. How do you expect to beat me? <laughs> I could see why my son lost to you. Your power is beyond astonishing. And do you think this is all the power I got? Foolish saying, I was able to train too, just like my son. If he trained, he could have killed you. But I have done something that he has never seen before. Let me show you a power stronger than what he ever possessed. As King Cold went and he transformed. King Cole has now transformed into his final form, as he was also able to achieve the same form as Frieza but he never used it, he always remained in his second form. Goku could sense his power has increased tenfold and that he is way more stronger than Frieza, as he smiled and said, <laughs> I see your power is far stronger than Frieza, that's good. <laughs> you have no idea. Before Goku can blink, King Cole came right in front of him as he struck him right in his stomach getting Goku to gasp for air and with that he punched him across his face as Goku got sent flying meters away. Vegeta was shocked to see that King Cold has transformed to his final form and that he was able to beat Goku or at least hit Goku as he knew right there that he didn't study chance against King Cold. Cold then went and he powered up a death ball and aimed right towards Goku but Goku managed to go and catch it as he put more energy and he managed to disperse it. With that, Goku went and he charged right towards King Cold and he striked him across his face but King Cold quickly did a backflip as he rushed right towards Goku and both their power clashed with one another and they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, King Cold and Goku was making the entire planet shake but everyone was shocked to see that this fighter was actually getting Goku to try. Against Frieza, Goku was smiling the entire time but against King Cold, he had an angry and a serious face as Goku looked towards him and said, Your power is way stronger than Frieza. I have underestimated you. Huh, you definitely did, but I haven't underestimated you. You're far weaker than what I thought. King Cold went and he jabbed Goku right in his stomach, getting Goku to gasp for air and from there he powered up a blast and aimed it right towards Goku's face as Goku got sent flying meters away and he fell right towards the ground. Everyone saw that Goku took a sweet time to get up as he got scared and they felt that King Cold might would have killed Goku and that that could have done it but from there Goku managed to get up and say, wow what an amazing power but I cannot let this get on for much longer. Goku went and he powered up his key. Against Frieza Goku only used 8% but against King Cold Goku was using over 50% as he powered up his key towards over 50% and with that Goku went and charged right towards King Cold while King Cold did the same but this time the reverse has been switched. Goku went and struck King Cold in his stomach getting him to gasp for air and from there he uppercut him as King Cold got sent flying high in the air. Goku then came from nowhere as he kicked him right in his stomach and from there Goku began to go and beat the shit out of King Cold. King Cold was very shocked to see that Goku was able to hit him and that he regretted that if he trained for at least over a few months, he could have had the power to kill Goku. After all, it isn't Frieza's family DNA that if they train for a very certain amount of time, they could achieve the golden form. Goku, on the other hand, continued to beat the shit out of King Cold as he went and powered up and wave and said, I must admit, you took a lot of power out of me compared to your son. And next time, I won't underestimate you guys. <sighs> How could you be this strong? It is time your race is done forever! Goku unleashed a wave right towards King Cold's face. As the wave hit him head on and from there he couldn't stop the attack since it was too powerful and he died right there. King Cold, uh, despite the fact that he has used his final form, 
didn't stood a chance against Goku's Super Saiyan 4 power, as Goku has gone and used more than 50% and he managed to kill them. Vegeta on the other hand managed to beat Captain Ginyu, while the rest of the Ginyu force came and they tried to attack Vegeta, but from there Goku powered up a blast and aimed right towards them, as the blast hit them and they all died right there. Everyone saw that the battle is over and that King Cole has finally died, but his spaceship has left. As King Cole told his man that if he has died and not succeeded on killing Goku, they need to go with plan B. With that, the spaceship has left as all the Saiyans thought of chasing him but Goku said to leave it, as he said there is no point of going after it. With that, they all began to go and celebrate again that Goku has gave them another victory. But little did they knew, King Cole had something for the Saiyans. His plan B was that in case he failed, he told his trusted man Sorbet to go towards one of the planet known as Planet Chi. That planet has some of the remaining Tuffles living there, as the Tuffles has a lot of grudge towards the Saiyans and over the years they have continued to grow their army to be strong enough in case one day the time comes they will go and destroy the Saiyans, but when they learned that the Saiyans has been vanished from Planet Vegeta, they had no idea where the Saiyans are gone. As the spaceship has arrived and from there Sorbet told the leader of the Tuffle that the Saiyans are still alive and he gave them the coronation of the Saiyans. Very well then, you have done us a very good deed. King Cold has made sure he paid his death off by telling us the Saiyans location. It is time we kill them. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. My lord, are you sure? Do you think you have enough firepower to destroy the Saiyans? They're very strong! <laughs> and what do you think about me? Do you think I'm a fool? I could easily destroy them. Well, not me, but I got some doctors working on some experiments. And I'll tell you this right now, they are going to be the strongest tuffle to ever exist. These two beings are by far the greatest tuffle you have ever seen. Oh wow! You do know that King Cold tried to fight him and he died. Ha! King Cold, he doesn't hold a candle against these two opponents. Just wait and see. As all the Tuffles that are remaining on the planet heard the news about Planet Saiyans and they had nothing but revenge on their mind as they all began to train while few doctors went and they began to work on their experiment trying to get the strongest Tuffle warrior to ever exist. And with that, as you know it, a few years has passed as they were not ready to go right now and infiltrate Planet Saiyan because they knew if they were, Goku would have killed them. They wanted to wait to make their warriors a lot stronger. Back on Planet Saiyans, a few years has passed since Goku went and killed King Cold and everyone began to celebrate as he couldn't believe that Goku was that strong and with that Vegeta knew right there and then that Goku definitely is the prince of all Saiyans and he thinks he should be the king. But Goku explained how he didn't want to be one and from there Vegeta begged Goku if he can train him. Everyone was amazed to see that as they would never believe a Saiyan would ask that but from there Raditz and Nappa along with Broly wanted to train with Goku. Goku knew right there and then that Broly has the highest potential here and that if they train together Broly can easily do a lot of damage as he agreed to help everyone train and get stronger and within those few years they have done nothing but training non-stop trying to get themselves even stronger. Bardock, a very proud father of his son Goku, saw that his son continued to progress in strength but he wasn't doing it alone, he helped a lot of other fellow Saiyans as they all tried to get a lot stronger but they had no idea what's coming for them as a group of Tuffle that remain want their revenge and that they'll be infiltrating planet Saiyans anytime soon to destroy the entire planet and kill all the Saiyans. With that, Bardock then told Goku that he has a mission as one of the planet that's far from planet Saiyans needed their help and he decided to send Goku. It has been a while since Goku went on a mission as Goku has agreed to do so and with that, he has left with his space pod. Back on the planet Tuffles, the doctors finally managed to go and create two of the strongest Tuffle warriors to ever exist. But from there, Dr. Mew wanted control over them as he knew that if these doctors have control over them, his plan cannot be successful and that is to rule the universe. 
So with that he went and killed the doctors and with that he has control over these two powerful beings. One of them is no one other than Baby. An experiment of a Tuffle that has all the Tuffle's DNA within him which allowed him to be this strong and the other one is Hatchiak. Hatchiak is one of the bravest and strongest Tuffle warrior but they decide to remodel him and redesign him and give him a lot of strength as they continue to work on him since Tuffles are extremely smart and very skillful they knew exactly what they're doing to make these two the most powerful warrior but they had no idea just how powerful Goku is and because of that they weren't able to fully master them and make them be really strong but they did their best but Dr. Mew now had control as he began to laugh and say <laughs> with these people on my side I could easily rule the universe but first thing is first I'm gonna go and destroy the Saiyans after all I am a proud Tuffle I'm not gonna let them overrule me <laughs> you tell me what to do master and I'll do it <laughs> very well then we are all going to go toward this coronation. Hmm, the Saiyans. That is right, Hatchiak. You are a very powerful being. It is time to get the revenge. The Saiyan killed us, and now we're going to kill them and rule their planet. I don't want to destroy the planet. Instead, we're going to destroy it and rebuild it. Make that the new planet Tuffle. Now let's go! As all the remaining Tuffles got into their space pod, and with that, they began making their way towards Planet Saiyan. On Planet Saiyan, Vegeta and the other Saiyans were busy trying with one another while Bardock was doing a little workout himself and from there they all decided to relax. And since Goku was not in the planet, they had everything under control but Bardock had a very weird feeling as he continued to feel distress and from there when Gine asked what happened, Bardock then said, Wait, what the? What is this? As Vegeta was able to sense his power, Broly sensed it and the rest of the Saiyans begun to sense it. Thanks to Goku, all the Saiyans no longer need Scouter. They're able to sense power level just like that, as they all could sense a group of space bot are making their way towards the planet, and as you know it, they have all arrived on planet Saiyans. All the Saiyans went to check it out, as the door opened and they saw Dr. Mew has come out and said, Well, well, so this is where all the Saiyans been hiding, huh? Who are you? And why the hell did you come to my planet? <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the king of all the saints, I can tell just by your robe. But tell me, where are the rest of your powerful warrior? And I'm also looking for, what's his name? The one that killed King Cold. You mean Kakarot? Yes, that's the one. The one that killed King Cold. Where is he? He's not here. But whatever business you have with him, you could take it up with me. Ha! <laughs> Please, I got better things to do than waste my time on you. We are the Tuffles, and we're here to get our revenge. What? Wait, the Tuffles? But you guys cease to exist. <laughs> we made you believe that. But we are alive as you can see, and now we're going to kill all you Saiyans out here. Is that so? Well then, come and show me what you got, you Tuffle being. As Vegeta went and he killed one of the Tuffles right there. With that, Dr. Mew ordered all of them to go and attack as they all rushed in a group and they began to attack the Saiyans. Raditz and Nappa along with Vegeta went into the guard mode and from there they began to attack the Tuffles as it was a battle between the Tuffles versus the Saiyans. Vegeta was easily holding his own against them but the Tuffles used some new equipment which allowed him to use a lot of firepower and with that they began to attack the Saiyans and even kill some of them. Seeing that the Tuffle was that strong, Vegeta decided to go and transform into his Super Saiyan while Raditz and Nappa went and they decide to go and shine the blood wave. Upon shining the blood wave, all the Saiyans that were there saw the blood wave, and from there they began to transform, as they have all transformed into their grade A. Ah, I see. So now they really want to fight. <laughs> well then, bring it on. As Dr. Mew saw that Broly came right next to him and he chokes him towards the ground and from there Broly began to beat the shit out of Dr. Mew. Dr. Mew was powerless to do anything against Broly after all it is Broly but from there he ordered his two strongest men to attack Broly as Hatchiak and Baby went and they strike Broly right in his face getting to be sent flying but from there Broly stopped himself 
as Brawly chased right towards him and Hatchet caught his by his fist and he twisted it and he strike Brawly right in his stomach. With that their battle has begun. Brawly went and he began to attack Hatchiak as Hatchiak was dodging all of his attack while Dr. Mew got up from him being badly hurt by Brawly and from there he looked right towards Baby and told him to kill the king of all the Saiyans which is no one other than Bardock. With that Baby went and he charged right towards Bardock as all the other Saiyans were busy fetching up all the other Tuffles, Bardock did not transform to his great ape since he wanted to remain in his base form. As Baby came and from there he struck Bardock right in his face, getting Bardock to be sent flying. Bardock then got up as he struck Baby but saw it did nothing. <laughs> you are so weak! It's time for you to die! I think it's time for you to die! As Goku went and he decked Baby across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Hachiak saw Goku as he stopped his battle with Broly and from there he focused towards Goku as he came towards him and said, Saiyans. Oh, so I guess you guys are here to destroy us, huh? <laughs> if it isn't the Saiyan, he has finally come out. I've been always waiting here, and who the hell will you guys be? I am Baby. We are a proud Tuffle and this is Hachiak! Oh I see, the Tuffles huh? So you guys decided to come and get your revenge. I could have sworn that you guys died long ago. Haha! <laughs> Good thing you know your history, but you have no idea. We are going to kill you here and now! As Baby went and he charged right towards Goku and from there he tried to strike him but Goku dodged it and he kneed Baby right in his stomach, getting Baby to gasp for air. Hachiak went and he began to grab onto Goku as he tried to absorb Goku's energy since he had the ability to do that, but Goku went and he did a backflip and he decked Hatchak right in his face. Baby and Hatchak were surprised to see that Goku was able to hold his own against him like they were nothing. After all, Goku did get a huge boost in his power for the last few years that he trained with the rest of the Saiyans. Goku then went and rushed right towards him and he began to beat the shit out of Hatchak and Baby. As both of them fell to the ground while Dr. Mew was still alive and he said, what are you guys doing? Fuse! <laughs> yes, that is right! We still got a trump card within us! You ready, Sachiak? Kill the Saiyan! Okay then, let us show you our trump card! Huh? Trump card? <laughs> Baby and Hatchiak has now fused into one, as they have now become the one and ultimate warrior of the Tuffles, and with that they said, It is time for you to die! We are going to kill you here and now! What? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. What the? What the heck have you two done? <laughs> you can say that we have fused to become one. This is the end of you, Kakarot. We're gonna kill you and then destroy this entire wretched race. Your Saiyan's gonna know what it means to feel wrath and even despair. I don't get why you hate Saiyan so much. We have done nothing but just try to survive. Ha! <laughs> Your people destroyed my entire race, not to mention you guys took over my world and kicked us out. We were left abandoned, we had nowhere else to go, but just a few of us survived. And the great doctors went and they made us, just for this day. And if it isn't for cold, we will not know you guys exist. <laughs> that guy's still a bastard even when he died. Okay then, let's see what you guys got. As Goku went and he powered up his key and with that, their second round has begun. Baby Hachiak went and he charged right towards Goku, while Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow, the entire 
world was shaking while the remaining Saiyans went and they continued to attack all the other Tuffles that were there. Raditz and Nappa along with a few other Saiyans has already transformed to their grade 8 and they continued to stomp on the rest of the Tuffles but from there they went reverted right back to their base as they were watching Kakarot and Hachiak going one and other. With that Hachiak went and he striked Kakarot in his stomach while Goku went and he striked him back and they continued this up for some time. Hachiak then began to laugh and say, your power is so weak, you do know that we're only toying with you. Sure, how about I go and use my full power? With that Goku went and he began to use 100% of his power as he powered up his key to 100%. And with that, everyone was able to see just how powerful Goku was by using 100%. This is the first time they saw him use full power. Goku with that went and he charged right towards Hachiak as he punched him but saw it did nothing. Goku then went and he uppercut it, getting it to barely move as he went and began to hit it non-stop. But Hachiak wasn't even phased by Goku. Seeing that Goku was too weak for him, Goku was surprised and said, What the hell? How was it a minute ago you were able to get hit, but now it's like I could hardly touch you? <laughs> we were allowing you to hit us, and now when we use over 50%, you can hardly even touch me. Impossible! You're bluffing! I'll show you! As Hatchak went and he struck Goku right in his stomach, getting him to gasp for air as he spat out blood, and with that, Hatchak went and began to beat the shit out of Goku. After all, it was a fusion of Baby and Hatchak giving him immense power and overpowering Goku big time. Goku while getting his ass kicked, the rest of the Saiyans saw that as Vegeta told the rest of the Saiyans to help out Goku and with that Broly went and he charged right towards Hachiak as he striked him. Hachiak went and he striked Broly back and they were going at it back and forth. Goku was surprised to see that Broly's power was amazing as Broly continued to grow a lot and from there Broly was getting angry that Hachiak continued to go and overpower everyone as he was holding his own against baby Hachiak and from there Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his Super Saiyan. As Hatchak was impressed with Broly's power and with that Broly went and charged right towards Hatchak as he striked him right in his face, getting Hatchak to move meters away. Goku was beyond impressed to see that, but from there Hatchak and Broly were going back and forth as they continued to attack one another. Goku then told the rest of the Saiyans to give him some of their ki so he could help Broly as he began to pour the ki towards Goku while Goku saw that Broly was being overpowered by Hatchak. Hatchak decided to go and use 100% of his power as he ended up attacking Broly non-stop and before Broly's ki can grow Hatchak went and he strike cat Broly right in the stomach and from there he threw a blast towards his face getting Broly to be sent flying and he passed out. The rest of the Saiyans came to help Goku as they all went to charge towards Hachiak while Goku powered up his key. Goku came into battle and now they all went and started to attack Hachiak. Hachiak was holding his own against all of them as he powered up a wave blast getting all of them to fall towards the ground. He then looked towards Goku and said, You are too weak. It is time you know despair. With that Hachiak went and he began to beat the shit out of Goku as Bardock went and he powered up a blast and aimed it right towards him and said, Stay away from my son! Oh, so that's your son, huh? I know exactly what to do to bring your son despair. Wait, what are you gonna do? Hachek made his way towards Bardock where he saw Paragus and even the old King Vegeta was there but from there he threw a blast right towards both of them, killing both of them right in the spot. He then went and picked up Bardock and he began to beat the shit out of Bardock. Goku charged his key as he rushed right towards Hatchak but Hatchak kicked Goku right in his stomach getting him to fall towards the ground and from there Hatchak went and he decked Bardock across his stomach as it pierced right through it and from there Bardock has died. Hatchak then went and threw a blast right towards Bardock getting his entire remains to be exploded. Upon seeing that was a sight that for Goku and Raditz and Gine to not bear as they couldn't believe that their loved one who is Bardock has died right in before them while Goku was completely stung and he couldn't move and said Father! No! I told you, 
You are now going to learn despair. Goku fell in his knees as he was in shock while had Jaguen and he continued to slaughter the rest of the Saiyans that were there until it hit Goku and with that, when Goku got up, he then could feel a rage of anger as he couldn't believe what was happening and he couldn't control himself and with that, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now gone and finally done it as he was able to go and transform into a Super Saiyan. This is Super Saiyan Goku. Since Goku is born as a Super Saiyan 4, when he transformed to a Super Saiyan, the multiplier has been stacked on top of his Super Saiyan 4 base, which allowed him to have a huge boost to his power and giving him this appearance. Everyone couldn't believe what they were seeing. While Goku had tears flowing down his face since he saw his father and not to mention his mother has died right before him since Hatchek managed to go and kill half of the Saiyans. With that, Goku looked towards Hatchek and said, Hatchek, I will never forgive you. What the hell? What the have you become? How is it that you managed to go golden? It makes no sense. I will show you! Goku, filled with rage, went and he came right in front of Hatchek as he kicked him right in his stomach, getting Hatchek to be sent flying high in the air. Goku then followed as he decked him right in his face, getting Hatchek to fall straight towards the ground. Hatchek could barely move as he had no idea just how powerful Goku was and he looked towards him and said, What the hell? How did you become this strong? What did you do? You have killed my family. You have killed all my Saiyan brethren. For that, I'm gonna kill you. Oh yeah? Well then, you're gonna know the spirit and that's exactly what I did. You Saiyans don't know who you guys are. We tuffle before he can finish his sentence. Goku went and striked him across his face as Hatchet got sent flying units away and with that Goku went and he started to beat the shit out of Hatchet. While Goku was beating the shit out of him, his power of transforming to a Super Saiyan had a huge boost to his level as all those Kais in the universe could sense Goku's energy and with that they began to trip out and say, how can a mortal be this strong? My word, do you sense that Kupito Kai? Yes, what the heck is going on? It appears planet Mars, which has now been taken over called planet Saiyans, there's a Saiyan who managed to have such amazing strength. How can a mortal generate that much energy? Huh, I'm beyond shocked. If anything, his power far exceeds Majin Buu. Goku, on the other hand, continued to go and beat the shit out of Hatchet. As Hatchet couldn't stand a chance against Goku, what do you expect? He went and killed his family right before him. And as of regular Saiyans, when they see that, they use their rage as a way to give them a huge boost to the power and allowed Goku to finally unlock his Super Saiyan transformation. Goku then went and he continued to kill Hatchiak as he powered up a massive blast and said, You toughos don't know when to give up. It is time I end you guys. Once when you're dead, no one will never remember your race. Now go back to where you belong. Goku went and aimed the blast right towards Hatchiak. As the blast came hit him head on, Hatchiak tried to go and stop it, but it was too much for him. As he couldn't absorb the blast and from there his entire body has exploded killing baby in him and they have finally died, ending this war once and for all. Goku managed to go and save the day by transforming into a Super Saiyan but that wasn't enough. Despite the fact that he has already ended the war and killed Hachiak the greatest threat to them, his Saiyan brethren and his family has died as he had no idea what to do but from there Goku began to hear voices in his head and said, Hey! Your power! It's amazing! And I see what kind of war you guys been through. I can help you bring your people back. Huh? Who are you? Listen to me. There's this planet called Planet Earth. They got a set of Dragon Balls. I would send you to Planet Namek, but that's too far away from you guys. Planet Earth is literally right next to you guys. Go there and use it. And you can revive your family.
If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has just spoken with King Kai as he told Goku about going towards a planet called Planet Earth and to use their Dragon Ball so they can wish for their loved ones back and that he is impressed with how Goku is managing to survive and save the Saiyan race from evil doers. From there he gave Goku the coronation as Goku told one of the Saiyans to check out how far this planet is and they saw that planet Earth is just very close towards their planet. With that Vegeta decided to go with Goku along with Nappa and Raditz and even Broly as they all want to go and check out what planet Earth is but their main mission was to go and wish back their loved ones since Paragus, King Vegeta, King Bardock and not to mention even Gine has died in this battle. Goku then told all the Saiyans to wait for them and to try to reconstruct everything until they come back with some help as they have an idea of how to revive their loved ones. This is Goku's first time ever experiencing what is a Dragon Ball and with that they have now set a course towards planet Earth. They have all left planet Saiyans and now after a few months they have arrived towards a planet called planet Earth. Once when their spaceship has arrived, they begin to sense a very weak energy coming far from the west but it was strong to destroy half of planet Earth as it was trying to destroy everything that comes in its path and this evil doer was no one other than King Piccolo. Goku then decided to go make his way to check it out as he saw that few warriors that were there who is Master Roshi, Grandpa Gohan, even the Ox King along with Boma and Chi Chi since Boma is a very mad scientist she has a lot of gadget they were trying to do everything they can to stop King Piccolo but he was too powerful as he wanted to get his hand on the Dragon Balls so he can make a wish and from there he said hand over the Dragon Balls and give it to me or else I'll kill all of you guys here wait Dragon Balls that's what King Kai told me we need something called the Dragon Balls as Goku came right in front of King Piccolo and said how about no those Dragon Balls belong to me huh who are you you weakling as King Piccolo went and threw a blast right towards Goku and once when a small clear everyone saw that Goku was unfazed as his blast didn't even touch him. King Piccolo was extremely shocked as Goku came right in front of him and he kicked him getting to be sent flying meters away and he disappeared. From there everyone was very amazed and shocked as they couldn't believe what Goku has done and they saw Vegeta, Nappa, Raditz and when they saw Goku they were kind of weirded out seeing a man who was pretty much in the Super Saiyan 4 state but they don't know what that is for them it looks just like a guy in a monkey or you could say a guy dressing as a monkey eh, both of them works you can say a guy a monkey or dressed as a monkey as they began to get very confused but Boma couldn't stop thanking them since she takes planet earth to be a very serious thing for her because that is her home planet and because she is a mad scientist she decided to do everything she can to always protect it Goku then told him not to thank him and that he just needs his hands on the Dragon Balls because his planet has been attacked by some race and now his loved one has died and he doesn't know if there's such thing as a Dragon Ball if it's true or not. Boma reassured him that the Dragon Balls are true and she gave all her Dragon Balls to Goku. After all he did save their ass from King Piccolo. Goku didn't know how to use it so Boma decided to go and show him as she summoned Shenron. Once when everyone saw Shenron, Goku was impressed as he was overwhelmed on seeing a giant dragon right before him and from there Shenron looked towards him and said I am the dragon Shenron, speak your wish! Oh wow, that's amazing! And can you bring back all the Saiyans that died on planet Vegeta? Oh sorry, planet Saiyan! I can do that! As Shenron eyes glow and from there, on planet Saiyans, Bardock has been revived along with Gine and even Vegeta the third and Paragus and all the other Saiyans that has died while Bardock was shocked and said what the what happened what I'm alive what the how did we come back it doesn't make any sense I don't know your wish has been granted it is time I take my leave farewell damn I don't know why I'm so overwhelmed but okay then with that, Boma offered them all to come to her house and have a feast since they did save their ass from King Piccolo and she wants to get to know them who they are since this is an alien for them. Goku accepted her offer and when he tried earth food, Goku couldn't get enough as he fell in love with it and he continued to eat a lot. 
Bulma on the other hand had a little liking for Goku but she actually found Vegeta to be more attractive. Since Vegeta doesn't look like a, some type of monkey or ape, he is himself. Vegeta did not really like Bulma at first but when he saw that she's really smart and she has a very meany attitude, he began to feel attracted towards her too. As Bulma explained to them who she is and that she is the greatest scientist on planet earth and they can figure out anything. With that, Bulma then told Goku that she would love to study the Saiyan and get to know more about them as she asked him if he could have a sample of his blood. Goku didn't know why she wanted but from there Vegeta went and he decked Goku right in his head causing him to have a little spark of blood coming from his chin as she managed to collect that and from there she decided to go and do her research on the Saiyans. Goku on the other hand was confused on what but he wanted to go right back to planet Saiyans to see if all the Saiyans are alive or not as he told her that he'll be right back and with that they have left planet earth making their way right back to planet Saiyans. Once when they got to planet Saiyans they were all happy to see that the loved one was there as Barda came and hugged Goku and told him that he couldn't believe that Goku was able to bring him back since they all told him that Goku was the one who went to planet earth with the rest of the Saiyans and he managed to use the Dragon Balls to wish them back. They had no idea what the Dragon Ball is but for their own knowledge and for their own good Goku just told them very light information that he used something called the Dragon Balls, don't question it and that they were alive again. You know how it goes. With that they were happy that they are alive again as Goku decided to go right back to planet earth with Vegeta and from there Boma and her father figured out a lot of things when it comes to the Saiyans and from there they continued to do more research as Goku and Vegeta continued to eat more earth food and as you know it a few months has passed and she finally finished her research. She then looked towards both of them as her father came and said, You know something, we have studied a lot about you guys. We have learned that you Saiyans rely a lot on your tail and that you guys pretty much feed off the blood wave. Yeah that's right, but the blood wave hardly come, it only comes in a full moon. That is true, we have researched that too, we know everything now. But what is very intrigued is about you. Me? Yeah you. We have no idea just what kind of Saiyan you are. We know he's a regular Saiyan but your DNA is completely different. Your DNA has exponential blood wave. What? Uh, what? You mean if we Saiyans get a lot of blood wave within ourselves, we'll end up looking like Prince Kakarot? Pretty much. But you need a lot of blood wave. Wait, are you serious? Are you saying that we could have the same power as Kakarot? I believe so. It all based on blood wave. He's pretty much a walking blood wave. His body absorbed it so much that it remained in that form forever. Oh wow. So that's the reason why I look like this, huh? Blood wave, you say. But my power is so amazing though. It's far exceeds a Super Saiyan. It's like a Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> With that, Boma then told him that they could build a something called a blood wave machine in just a few years as they give them time. They then invited Boma to come to the world as she was very intrigued to see how planet Saiyan is and from there her and her father decided to leave planet earth just for a few years to come to planet Vegeta as they brought a lot of capsules with them and from there when they saw just how broken planet Saiyan was, Boma decided to go back to planet earth and use the dragon balls and wish for that planet to be as modified as planet earth. As she came right back to earth and from there she continued her research on planet Saiyans going back and forth and as you know it a few years has passed and now she finally managed to go and create something called a blood wave machine which will allow all the Saiyans to absorb exponential amount of blood wave and from there they were able to transform into Goku's form but for that Goku needs to help because after doing a lot more research since they are on planet Saiyans they continue to do more research they found out that the Saiyans turned into grade 8 and they could lose their mind if they get a lot of blood sway but that's where Goku comes in and he knocks them down so they could be passed out and from there they managed to control themselves and they used their real power. With that Boma went and she took out her machine and she began to shine it on Vegeta. As Vegeta got hit with the blood wave machine and from there Vegeta continued to grow into his golden grade 8. Everyone saw that as they were very shocked but Boma continued to pour more blood sway within Vegeta while Goku came right in front of him and told him to remember who he is as Goku knocked Vegeta in his head and from there Vegeta's power and body began to change as he began to absorb all the blood wave and as you know it Vegeta without knowing has transformed into a Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> My 
my goodness. He did it. Well, well. So I guess this is your true power, huh, Kakara? You are born like this. You are the only Saiyan to absorb so much blood weight, which allow you to get this power. How amazing. With that, Bardock was the next one to be tested out. Uh, Zeke got an exponential amount of blood wave and he also transformed to his golden form. And from there, Bardock continued to grow as he managed to get control and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 4, along with Raditz and Nappa. With that, they couldn't all believe that they're a Super Saiyan 4 level, while Goku smiled and said, Oh my god, look at you guys, you guys look just like me! Wow, Gakarot! So this is the power you use, huh? Hey, it's amazing! <laughs> wow, I feel so strong! Oh my god, son, what kind of beast are you? This power is amazing! While all the Saiyans were impressed that the main Saiyans were able to go Super Saiyan 4, far in the galaxy, Beer is a destroyer has woken again from his slumber, as Yuka sends multiple power levels really high, coming from a planet which he has never detected and said, oh, Whiz! Yes, my lord. I see you've finally gotten up, huh? You have a lot of stuff to do as a destroyer. Ah, I don't care about that. Tell me, Whiz, why am I sending so much energy coming from that planet? What planet is that? Huh, about that, my lord. It's called Planet Saiyans. What? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Whis? Tell me, what the hell is going on? Why am I sensing so much power coming from a far planet? And what is this that I'm sensing that they're still Saiyans alive? I thought I told Frieza to go and destroy them all. Yeah, about that, my lord. It's a long story. As Whis proceeded to go and tell Beerus everything about what happened with the Saiyans, how they all rebelled against Frieza, and that there was one Saiyan that was born really strong, and they managed to go to another planet, and they made that the new Saiyan planet. And with that, this new warrior who was born at a very high power level, his name is Kakarot, and he managed to go and kill Frieza. And that Kakarot's power continued to grow at a rapid pace, and now he is even stronger than before. Upon hearing all that got Beerus to be very shocked, as he couldn't believe what he was hearing and that someone was able to kill Frieza. With that, Whis then told Beerus that the rest, some of the Saiyans you can say, managed to go and transform into the same form that Kakarot was born with, which got Beerus to be really curious and said, Could that form be Super Saiyan God, Whis? Super Saiyan God? No, my lord. I don't sense no god key presence from that. Yeah, but I got a prophecy that I'll be fighting with some type of Super Saiyan God. Well, my lord, about that, you first need to go check out what's happening inside Planet Zero. What? Ah, Whis, why are you so boring? No, I want you to take me towards Planet Saiyans. I want to handle these Saiyans myself. But my lord, they need your help. And after all, you are a destroyer. Whis, don't tell me about my job. Well, I'm not trying to tell you nothing, I'm just saying. You've been doing nothing but sleep and pretty much eat. Well then, why'd you become a destroyer? I'm an angel, and not to forget, I'm the one that trained your ass. Now I have to tell you, go check out that planet. How about this? Take me to Planet Saiyans, let me go see if they are the Super Saiyan God, and then if I have any energy, I'll go towards that planet. <sighs> You're so arrogant, Lord Beerus. Well, I am your destroyer, and it's in the system for you to listen to me, so let's do what I tell you, Weez. As Weez did not like Beerus' attitude, and with that, he decided to go and take Beerus to where's Planet Saiyans. On Planet Saiyans, all the other Saiyans were completely shocked as they couldn't believe that Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta, 
and Bardock managed to go and transform and look like Kakarot. They had the same power as Kakarot, but obviously Kakarot is stronger since he had this power much longer than them. But they were very shocked as they couldn't believe it and with that, Bardock looked towards Goku and said, Kakarot, I cannot believe it, you're born with this type of power. It's amazing, son. Well, I had no idea myself, but it's thanks to Boma I found out about this. Huh, this Boma, she's really useful. Yes, she is. Well, Kakarot, now that I have a taste of your power, I think it's time for us to have a little rematch. I just want to see where I stand against you. <laughs> you do know that you don't stand a chance against me at all, Vegeta. I have a power beyond that. I know, I know, but my inner Saiyan wants me to try to see where I stand. <laughs> okay, then I'm game. Hey, how about I enter the fight too? I got it. How about me, Nappa, and Vegeta all transform to our, you know, whatever, what form you want to call that? It's called the true Saiyan form. Okay, how about we transform to our true Saiyan form and we fight you? <laughs> Alright, that sounds like a plan. With that, they were about to go and transform, but from there, Goku got an alert from King Kai as he quickly called Goku and said, Hey! Kakarot! Huh? Wait, you're, ki you're King Kai, right? Yes, but listen! There's something bad coming towards you guys! What do you mean? Beer's a destroyer! He has woken from his slumber and he sensed your guy's power! He's making his way towards you guys as we speak! Beer's a destroyer? What? Who is that? <gasps> what? No! D did you just say what I think you said? Huh? Do you know something about this? Who is Beer's a destroyer? Oh no! Not him! What's going on? Who is he? He is the strongest person I've ever laid eyes on! If he comes here, we're all dead! You think killing Frieza was enough? No! This guy is the real deal! Father, are you okay? Oh, wait, Father! Is it that guy that made you kneel before him? Yes! That spear is a destroyer, no doubt! And... Ah... I see you guys know who I am, Saiyans! Oh, uh, he's here! Huh? So... This is Beer is a destroyer, huh? <laughs> Very well. And yes, Saiyan, I am Beerus the Destroyer. I have heard a lot about you, Kakarot. So you know who I am, huh? Of course I do. But tell me one thing. Do you guys know anything about a Super Saiyan God? Super Saiyan God? No. What is that? <sighs> Just what I thought. How about you, Vegeta? Uh, no, my lord. I, I don't. But tell me. Are, are you going to destroy this planet? Wait, Beerus? The Destroyer? What are you doing here? Like I said, I heard you guys still exist. I'm shocked that Frieza couldn't kill you guys. <laughs> That's because I killed him. That bastard tried to end all the Saiyan race, but I stopped him. <laughs> he might have tried to end it, but I'm the one that ordered him to do so. What? You told Frieza to destroy us? That is right, Saiyan. I did. What are you going to do about that? <sighs> you bastard! Huh? As Vegeta went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 4. With that, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Beerus as he striked him in his face. Beerus went and caught Vegeta's fist and he twisted it and he striked him back and their battle has begun. Vegeta did not like the fact that Beerus was the one who ordered for all his people to be erased and because of that he blames Beerus for him losing his kingship as he went and he tried to attack Beerus again but Beerus went and he flicked Vegeta away getting to be sent flying meters away. With that Raditz and Nappa went and they transformed into their Super Saiyan 4 while Bardock did the same and from there he looked towards Beerus and said I am now the king of this planet! If you're here to destroy it, I'm not gonna let you do so! Ha! I'll have to see what you can do. Try to stop me, Saiyan! With that, Vegeta went and he got up as Bardock, Nappa, Vegeta and Raditz all charged towards Beerus and they started to attack him. Beerus saw that they were all in their Super Saiyan 4 state and they began to hit him with every angle as Beerus went and he powered up his key using just slightly 15% and he began to attack them back until he heard someone went and screamed. <laughs> 
Goku has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan and said, I'm not gonna let you stay here and destroy my people. I have fought too hard for this planet, and if you wanna kill them, then you'll die here. Ha! <laughs> Bring it on, Saiyan. Before Beerus can blink, Goku came right in front of him and he decked him across his face, getting Beerus to be sent flying meters away. Goku then followed as he took Beerus by his back and he kneaded right in his spine and he punched Beerus. Beerus was extremely shocked to see that he has underestimated Goku compared to Vegeta and their other Saiyans. Goku is in a different league as he got up and said, My bad, I have underestimated you, Saiyan. Your power is far greater than what I thought. Huh, <laughs> you have no idea. Well then how about I use my full power to make it an even match? Behold! Beerus has now gone and powered up his key to its fullest, as is ready to go and attack Goku and with that their battle has begun, as both of them charge towards one another and their power clash with each other. While Goku was holding his own against Beerus, Whis was beyond shocked to see that Goku, a mortal, was able to push Beerus to 100%. As Beerus was holding his own against Goku and from there we smiled and said, I wonder, maybe he could be the replacement for Lord Beerus. Let's see what you got Kakarot. With that he saw that the Supreme Kai has now arrived towards the world as he's in stress and said, Is Lord Beerus fighting them? Mm hmm. He wants to see if they're the Super Saiyan God. Oh no, this cannot be good. With that Beerus went and he began to beat the shit out of Goku. Despite the fact that Goku went and he used his Super Saiyan power, Beerus was overpowering him as he continued to attack him non-stop. With that Goku then got up as Vegeta, Bardock, Nappa and Raditz along with Broly, he came and he powered up to his Super Saiyan and with that all 5 of them went and they charged right towards Beerus and they began to attack him. Beerus went and he threw them as he was trying to hold his own against all of them but from there Goku went and uppercut Beerus while Broly felt a push and he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and charged right towards Beerus and he decked him across his face but Beerus did the same and both their power was equally tight as they were going at it. Beerus then saw that with Goku and others of the Saiyans helping, they were overpowering him as he quickly went and he said, alright then, you guys are beyond impressive but now let's see you guys stop me when I use this form, behold. Beerus has now gone and used his Ultra Instinct Power. With that Beerus easily went and he threw all of them towards the ground as none of them stood a chance against him and from there he went and he powered up a blast and said, it is time I punish this planet, I'm gonna make sure I eradicate all of you guys here and now. Weezen saw that this was his opportunity to help them as he said, my lord, there is a way for a Super Saiyan God to appear. Huh? What do you mean Weez? Look here Kakarot, I need you and 5 other pure hearted Saiyans to go and power up their energy towards you. With that it will allow you to tap into a power known as a Super Saiyan God. Wait, what? Are you serious? Okay then, I'm curious to see how powerful you are. How about you go and show me that power then? Uh, okay then. As Goku went and he told Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta, Broly and Bardock to power up all their ki and pour it into him. With that they all began to go and do that and as Beerus, Witness and everyone else, they all saw that the energy went in towards Goku's body which gave him a Zenkai boost but at the same time, Goku began to glow as he went and transformed into a Super Saiyan God.
Goku has now done it as he, with the energy of the other Saiyans, managed to go and transform to a Super Saiyan God 4. Goku has now done the myth of the legend as he managed to get 5 pure hearted Saiyans to pour their energy within him and now he has transformed into a Super Saiyan God. But what makes this transformation very special is the fact that this is Super Saiyan 4 Super Saiyan God Goku. He is in his base as a Super Saiyan 4 and he stacked that on top of Super Saiyan God, giving his multiplier to go off the roof. As Beerus smiled and said, It's about goddamn time you have got the power of a Super Saiyan God. Now that I can see so might be a challenge for me. Oh wow, so this is what you call God Key, huh? Now I understand everything. And I can also sense your power. Compared to me, Beerus. I'll say your power is far weaker than me. Huh? <laughs> Someone's very cocky, huh? Don't you know what kind of power I'm using, Saiyan? You wanna stand a chance against me? How about you come fight me when I wanna see what you got? And <laughs> that's the plan. As Goku told everyone to clear out of the way, and with that he wanted to go head to head with Beerus. With that both Goku and Beerus stared at one another, as their battle was really intense and from there the battle has begun. Goku went and he charged right towards Beerus. As he rushed right towards him, Beerus did the same and both of their power clashed with one another and with that they were both going at him. Goku with each landing blow was understanding his Super Saiyan God power as he was able to use it more and more and his power continued to increase while Beerus was using his Ultra Instinct and with that Goku went and he striked Beerus but Beerus dodged it as he went and he kicked Goku but Goku managed to see that coming and he dodged it and they kept this up for some time. With each landing blow the entire planet was shaking while Supreme Kai was really scared on seeing what's happening and said, My word, how can a mortal be this strong? Huh, you know what? I have made my mind. Huh? Supreme Kai, from the way things look, if this keeps up, Lord Beerus is going to die against this Saiyan. That is if he has the heart to kill him. And if he does kill Lord Beerus, I'm going to make him the next destroyer for Universe 7. So you just die just for a little bit, but you'll come right back. And your link is going to be with him. Are you serious? You're going to make this mortal the next destroyer? Well, he looks like he's more than ready. Look at him. He's able to keep up with Beerus like if it's nothing, despite the fact that Beerus is using his Ultra Instinct. And if he becomes a destroyer, he is very motivated. I could see he'll do some work, unlike Beerus. All he does is eat and sleep. My word, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. This mortal is really that special, huh? As Goku and Beerus continue to go at it, and with that, Beerus looked towards Goku and said, Not bad, Saiyan. Your power definitely has increased a lot. I have definitely underestimated you. How about I go and use my full power? As Beerus went and he powered up to 100% of his Ultra Instinct. This is my full power saying, I hope you're ready to fight me now. There's no way I'm gonna lose this battle against you. After all, I'm a destroyer. <laughs> You keep yapping about you're some type of destroyer, but tell me what kind of god gets angry over little pity things like a Super Saiyan God? <laughs> you will never understand. I have been my dream to fight one and now it has finally come true. Well then, let's see if you can handle like Super Saiyan God. As Goku rushed right towards Beerus and he continued to attack him. While that was happening, King Vegeta and Bardock continued to look at the battle as they heard myth about a long time ago. A group of Saiyans went and they powered up their key into one Saiyan and he managed to transform into a divine form and now that they saw Goku they have no doubt that that divine form was another other than a Super Saiyan God. As they were extremely overwhelmed on seeing Goku wield the Super Saiyan God power for the very first time and with that Goku and Beerus continued to go at it. Goku went and he kicked Beerus getting to be sent flying as he went and he uppercut him. Beerus went and he powered up a Hakai Blast and he aimed it right towards Goku. Goku quickly went and he powered up his own blast and he aimed it towards Beerus attack as their blast clashed with another but from there Goku managed to overpower it 
and he managed to get Beerus' attack dispersed as Beerus saw that Goku came right in front of him and he decked him across his face, getting him to be sent flying meters away. Beerus then saw that Goku came right next to him as he continued to increase his power and strength and with that Goku went and he kicked him high in the air, getting Beerus to be sent flying out of space. Goku then followed as Beerus looked towards Goku and said, There's no way a mortal like you can be this strong. How could you do this to a destroyer? I told you, you have underestimated me. I am now ordinary Saiyan. You're looking at a Saiyan that is the strongest who ever exists. Just look at my appearance. That right there can tell you that I'm built differently. As Goku went and he rushed right towards Beerus and he decked him. Beerus tried to go and do everything he can to overpower Goku, but he was powerless against a Super Saiyan 4 God, Goku. As Goku went and he continued to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus was extremely stung as he couldn't believe that Goku was this strong, and with that he was getting very salty since he didn't like the fact that a mortal was stronger than him. After all, he did train to get the power of Ultra Instinct, and he saw that when he had a dream of prophesizing fighting a Super Saiyan God, he knew right there that he can beat him. But Beerus has underestimated Goku, after all it is Goku. As Beerus got really angry and said, You know what? I know exactly what I'll do to you. Beerus instantly came right next to Goku as he was getting ready to Hakai him, but from there Goku's instinct quickly kicked up as Goku went and took Beerus by his hand and he twisted it, breaking Beerus' shoulder and he punched him across his face. Beerus saw that doing the Hakai towards Goku would be pointless because he will do the exact same move, so he decided to take his anger towards planet Earth as he powered up a massive blast and said, Okay Saiyan, I admit, you may be stronger than me, but there's one thing you got that I can easily defeat you. And what is that? Your home planet, now die! Beerus went and aimed a blast right towards planet Earth, as it was about to go and destroy it and once it hits planet Earth, not only Earth but the entire galaxy will be wiped out from Beerus' attack. That's how powerful it was, after all Beerus was going 100% as it was full of rage and anger. Once when he aimed his blast, Goku rushed right towards the attack as he caught on and from there Goku used everything he can to try to overpower the attack as he powered up his own blast and he managed to disperse Beerus' attack. With that, Goku got really angry as he came right in front of him and said, How dare you involve Earth in this battle? <laughs> you may be strong, but there's no way I'm gonna lose to you. You're very sick, Beerus. I thought that I'll just beat you and let you have your own wound, but from there, seeing what you're trying to do shows that a wound won't do enough. I am going to kill you. Oh. Looks like my prediction's coming true after all. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna die, huh? Mm-hmm. It looks like Kakra's ready to go and finish off Lord Beerus. Goku then got angry as he powered up his key to 100% and with that he went and rushed right towards Beerus and he began to beat the shit out of him. Beerus didn't stood a chance against Goku despite the fact that he was using Ultra Instinct power. Goku is using a Super Saiyan God stacked on top of the Super Saiyan 4 which gave him a huge boost to his power as Goku went and he powered up a finishing move and he aimed it right towards Beerus and said, I hope you rot in hell Beerus, now die! Once when Goku waved this wave towards Beerus, Beerus tried to do everything he can to catch it and disperse it but he was too weak after all he was wounded by Goku's attack as a wave went and hit him head on and he died right there. Goku has now gone and killed his destroyer as he is the only mortal to kill a destroyer and from there once when Beerus died, Supreme Kai looked towards Weez and said, I hope my link goes close to him and he died right there. Weez was beyond impressed as he couldn't believe what he has witnessed while Goku has now lost his Super Saiyan God power and he began to breathe heavily. Beerus then was dead as his dead body was floating from there and from there Weez came right next to Goku and said, Oh my god! I cannot believe what I have witnessed! Huh? Who are you? Wait, you're with Beerus, huh? Yep, I'm the one who trained Beerus. Let me introduce you to myself. My name is Weez. I'm an angel for Universe 7. An angel? That is right. Normally when an angel and a destroyer are linked and a destroyer dies, the angel returns right back to his realm. But I have found a new destroyer. A new destroyer? That is you, Kakarot. You managed to kill Beerus, and the rule says those who kill a destroyer has to become the next destroyer. How would you like to be the destroyer for Universe 7? A destroyer god? Me? Yep. After all, I'll teach you everything. I am the one who trained Beerus, and I'll train you even more. 
You have a lot of potential within you. I could see your power could be massively stronger once I'm done training with you. So what do you say? Will I be able to protect my planet? Of course. You get to protect both the planet, planet Earth, and even your own planet, Saiyan planet. <laughs> well then. Okay, then count me in. Very well then. We have a new destroyer for Universe 7. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has now gone and killed Beerus with his Super Saiyan 4 Super Saiyan God power. As Whis was beyond impressed and he didn't once pity Beerus dying, he instead began to celebrate and he offered Goku to become the next destroyer for Universe 7. Goku did not know what to say as he already declined one big role and has to be the king of planet Vegeta and now he has been offered to be a destroyer for Universe 7 which means he owns all the planet in Universe 7. Goku had a very tough time to decide this but Whis told him that he has no choice since the rule is the one that destroys the first destroyer they have to take his place and right now the universe is without their supreme Kai and a destroyer so Goku has to quickly make moves. Goku was pretty much didn't know what to say you know he's being pressurized by Whis that hey you gotta do this you did this you did this now you have no choice but at the same time Whis knew that Goku is the perfect candidate. Goku then decided to accept that offer and said okay fine. I guess I'll be the destroyer then. <laughs> Very well then. Come with me, Goku. We need to go and visit my father's world. Your father? Yes. We'll also see the king of everything. He is the one that controls all the angels and destroyer. The king of everything? With that, Whis went and he took Goku with his staff and they have now arrived to Zeno's world. On Zeno's world, once when Goku arrived there, he was overwhelmed and shocked on seeing what he is seeing as he saw that Zeno was sitting right before him and from there Whis told him that this is the king of everything and they need to bow down. Goku then bowed down as he had no idea what's going on and he was shocked to see that a child was ruling the entire multiverse nevertheless but when Whis told him that Zeno is so strong that if he wants he can race an entire universe just with one shot, Goku was a little afraid to see that as he was also amazed to see that this child is this strong. With that, Zeno wasn't really that interested in Goku like he is in the canon since he is a Super Saiyan 4, he's way more mature than base Goku, therefore he didn't really have a friendship bond or anything. As Zeno's guard did not like the way how Goku is and that he's immortal and the way he looks, they had a little appearance thing from him. But then hey, who are they to judge? Look at the Beerus, he's a cat. If you can make a cat a destroyer, what's wrong with making a monkey a destroyer? You see? And with that, Whis then introduced Goku to Dai Shinken as Dai Shinken saw Goku and said, Welcome mortal. And wow, seeing your power, I could see you really are impressive. You have a lot of potential within yourself. It's no wonder you managed to beat the Destroyer from Universe 7. Uh, thank you, I guess? <laughs> Kakarot, show some manners. This is my father. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> no need to be formal with me, Kakarot. And yes, now that Whis told me that you're ready to take the responsibility, I have here now announced for Kakarot to be the Destroyer for Universe 7. With that, Dai Shinken went and he took out his staff as he shined it on Goku's head. And with that, Goku saw right next to him, Supreme Kai has come right back to alive and their link has now happened. Goku was then informed that him and Supreme Kai have a very strong bond in the link that if Supreme Kai dies, Goku dies with him and vice versa. Goku then looked towards him and said, Gosh, so something as fragile as you is linked to me? <laughs> Uh, normally I would scold you for that since you're immortal, but you're not immortal, you're a destroyer. And what's more important, you managed to get rid of Beerus, and now you became his replacement. By the way, why are you guys so against Beerus? We'll talk about that once we get back to your planet, Lord Kakarot. Lord Kakarot? <laughs> that does have a ring to it. Alright then, I'm happy to see that you're now a destroyer for Universe 7. Whis, I believe he's in good hand. Yes he is, father. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you're happy now, aren't you, Whis? I kinda am. Beerus did make our universe much weaker, but I'm pretty sure Kakara here will definitely change that and have an impact. As Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai'd him right back to Beerus' world, which is now Kakarot's world. 
Once when Kakarot got there, he then was now informed as Weez and Supreme Kai told him everything about how Beerus is so lazy and that because of his laziness the universe is kinda slacking and that they need an active destroyer to make sure that this universe is much stronger than it was before. With that, Weez then told Goku that their training will begin and but first he wants to educate Goku on the matter of everything that he needs to know as a destroyer. Goku was already being overwhelmed and at the same time Weez looked towards him and said, Well, first things first Kakarot, well, now that you have become the destroyer for Universe 7, let's get you into a proper gi. You will now be a destroyer, so let me make you wear destroyer clothes. Do I have to? Yeah, you do. It's kind of the tradition. As Weez went and shined his staff on Goku, and now he has officially become the destroyer for Universe 7. <laughs> Okay, so this is my clothing now, huh? Yup, and now once when you learn with me, you'll see just how powerful you'll become, Kakarot. But first, let me educate you on the matter. Weez then told Goku about everything he needs to know as a destroyer, how there's more destroyers out there, and that they're all in a race to make sure they're the number one, and that their universe is the strongest. Weez then told Goku about what a Super Dragon Ball is, since Beerus did have a few in his possession, they have now become into Kakarot's possession. And at the same time, he then told Goku the power of the Super Dragon Ball. With that, Goku automatically had an idea of how he can make this universe a better place, but then he wanted his people from his universe to be stronger too. Whis then introduced Goku to his apprentice, you could say, and that is no one other than Mirrors. Goku then told Mirrors as his first destroyer command that if he can go to Worst Planet Science and inform everyone about the matter. With that, Mirrors was told to do so and he also asked him if he can train so the Saiyans that are there, especially the Super Saiyan 4 one, so they can all tap into God Key and make sure that Universe 7 is a strong place. No worry, I'll do exactly that. It may take me time, but I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, Mirrors. Well, Whis, I'm ready to learn what it is to become a destroyer. And as you know it, Mirrors has now gone towards Planet Saiyans and he informed them that the Kakra they once knew is no longer the same Kakarot. He is now a deity and that he has taken Beerus' place to be the destroyer for Universe 7 and that Kakarot ordered him to come here and train them so they can also tap into God Key. All the Saiyans were confused while Bardock was really proud of his son and their training has begun while Goku's training with Whis has begun and as you know it, 7 years has passed as it took Goku 7 years to full flesh become a destroyer and get all the knowledge he needs to know, all the training he needs to know, just so he could become a wise destroyer and a good one. Within those 7 years, Goku would visit the Supreme Kai's world and do a training day with him, as he has learned a technique called the Kai Kai technique, and with that he has Kai Kai back and forth and it was time for him to finally meet King Kai in person, since King Kai talked to him telepathically and when he did, King Kai couldn't stop bowing down and was amazed to see that Goku has now become the destroyer and from there Goku told him that he doesn't be so formal but King Kai said it is out of respect since the destroyer is a higher rank than the Kai's. Goku then begun his mission as a destroyer as he went to a few planets that were bad planet and he managed to Hakai some of them which he has learned from Whis a technique called the Hakai technique which permanently erases you from existence. Whis at the same time was really amazed and happy with his destroyer since unlike Beerus Goku wouldn't sleep. He would come and train with Whis and from there rest and then continue to train and then go out and do his destroyer work. With that Goku one day has talked to Supreme Kai as Supreme Kai told him about the terror that Majibu brought to the world of the Kais but from there Goku told him to leave it to him. Goku then went and he Kai Kai to where's planet earth as since he is a destroyer, he was able to pick up exactly where Majin Buu location is as he could sense that Majin Buu is still alive and he was right, Babidi was out here trying to resurrect Majin Buu. Before Majin Buu can be even hatched, Goku went and he Hakai'd Babidi, getting him to be erased from existence and from there he took Majin Buu's shell and he Hakai'd it as he permanently ended the scar that Supreme Kai had when it comes to the Majin Buu. 
With that, Goku told Supreme Kai what he did, as Supreme Kai couldn't stop thanking him, and now it was time for a summit for all the destroyers to be introduced to Goku. It has been 7 years, but now it was time for him to be introduced to the rest of the destroyers. Once when Goku went and attended that meeting, all the destroyers were shocked and amazed but at the same time weirded out to see that Goku is a destroyer, as some of them questioned his appearance but from there Goku looked towards him and said, hey, you guys have no right to question my appearance, I mean look at him, he is a fat cat, <laughs> shut up, and look at him, he is a rat, hey, and he's a fox. So if you guys are all talking about animals look like destroyers, then yes, I'm a proud monkey. Call me whatever you want, but I'm a destroyer who took down Beerus, and now I have took his place. Hearing that got Champa really salty, as he did not like the fact that Kakarot was the one who ended his brother's life. In his mind, he had nothing but vengeance, and now he started to make plans on how to get rid of Kakarot. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku at the Destroyer Summit has made a very strong case to why he deserves to be a destroyer, while the rest of the destroyer had trouble accepting him to be a destroyer. After all, he is the only one that is a mortal that has become a destroyer, and not just normally, but he has killed his own destroyer to get that spot. With that, Vermont did not like Goku at all as he looked towards Champa and said, There's something off about this guy. I know in my universe, Jiren, he is stronger than me. But him, <laughs> to prove he's stronger, he went and killed Beerus. That's pretty messed up. He killed your own brother. Uh, shut up! I know what you're trying to do. And what is that? You want me to kill him? Hey, I'm just saying. Don't blame me. He's the one that killed your brother. And what kind of brother will you be if you don't avenge him? Ha! I'm way ahead of you. I already made plans to kill this guy. How dare he kills my brother? Only... I'm allowed to do that, but he took that from me, I'm gonna make sure I kill him. Well, whatever you do, good luck with that. I'm just saying, I'm not really happy with him. Neither am I. That's why, leave it to me. All the angels really like Goku, as they saw that he is a well-mannered mortal, and not just that, he is also a very educated person. Since he is way different from the canon Goku, he had a lot of education when it comes to how to treat a destroyer and all that stuff. After all, you know Whis, he has done everything he can to educate Goku on the matter. While Goku has now finished his speech and with that everyone has said their goodbye and it was time for them to come back to the universe. Goku and Whis has come right back to their own world as Whis told Goku that he was really impressed with his speech and all. But from there Goku said, I had a really weird vibe coming from that Champa guy. Well, my lord, you did kill his brother, and I have to see why, and I also have a feeling that he might do something. <laughs> what is the rule on that, Whis? Well, destroyers are not allowed to fight, but if he's the one that attacked you, you could go and kill him, as you please. Oh, okay then. If he does try to do that, I'll be ready. As Goku continued to go and train, and with that, a few months has passed since Goku and Whis continued to train a lot and he had continued to do his destroyer work. It has been almost you can say a long time since Goku has visited his home planet. Ever since he has become a destroyer he decided to go and visit the planet Saiyan to see how all the Saiyans are there. After all he did ask Mirus to go and train all the Saiyans so that they can be able to accept and have God key within them. With that Goku has now gone and he learned a technique from Supreme Kai which is the Kai Kai technique as he went any Kai Kai towards Planet Saiyan. On Planet Saiyan, all the Saiyans were there as they were continuing doing their work and stuff but other Saiyans were busy training and all and from there Goku has arrived as they all saw Goku and they couldn't believe that the, a destroyer has arrived to the world and it was Goku nevertheless. Barda quickly came as he was amazed to see his son again and he gave him a hug while Goku looked towards him and said, Wow father, I could sense you have gotten a lot stronger. <laughs> Me? Look at you, son! I could finally extend your key! Oh, so I see that Whis has finally given you the power to have God Key. <laughs> He's not the only one! <laughs> Thank you.
Whoa, Vegeta! Wow, look at you, man! So I see you finally got a power beyond a Super Saiyan God. You could call this, I guess, Super Saiyan Blue, huh? <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, Kakarot. But I want to see how strong my destroyer is. It'll be an honor if you let me to fight you. Hmm, <laughs> sure thing, bring it on. As Vegeta got into his ready position, and with that, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Goku. Before he could do anything, Goku went and he used his fist just to lightly tap Vegeta, but that was enough to get him to be one shot towards the ground, as he instantly passed out. All the Saiyans were shocked to see that, as they couldn't believe what they were witnessing, and from there, Broly has come as Goku was really amazed with Broly's power and he told Broly to go all out just to see where he stands against him. Broly went and he screamed. Broly has transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God, as Goku can sense that this power is beyond incredible and even stronger than what Beerus ever had. With that, Broly went and he charged right towards Goku as he strike him. Goku went and did a backflip as Goku strike right towards Broly and both the power clashed one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow, Goku was able to withstand Broly's attack as he continued to go and dodge all of it and from there Goku went and he kneed Broly right in his stomach as he elbowed him in his face and from there he went and threw Broly towards the ground as Broly was about to go and tack up but Goku came right in front of him and he one shot Broly down. Goku had a breather as he looked towards Broly and said, Wow Broly, your power has increased so much, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Look at yourself. I thought that I'll be able to finally ha be at your level. Well, you do know that I'm a destroyer now, and I can teach you to train even harder. I have gotten a new power, you can say. Destroyer Kakarot, may I please be able to come to your world and train there? Huh? Hey, you don't have to call me all this destroyer stuff, Vegeta. Kakarot's good enough, and of course, if you guys want to get stronger, come to my world. I'll train all you guys myself. As all the Saiyans were really happy to hear that, but Goku was also impressed to see that Mirrors did a phenomenal job. He was able to help most of the Saiyans there to accept God Ki. Some of them could transform into a Super Saiyan God, and some of them went beyond a Super Saiyan God, which is a Super Saiyan Blue state. With that, Goku is getting ready to get everyone that wanted to train at his world, but before he can, they all sense that someone has a right towards planet Saiyans, as it was no one other than Champa. You! I've been looking for you! I went to your world and I didn't see you there! Champa, what the heck are you doing in my universe? Shut up! It's not your universe! This universe belongs to my brother! Your brother was too weak to protect it. That's the reason why I was chosen to be the destroyer. Now it's mine. Ha! I'm here to make sure it's not! I'm gonna do everything I can to kill you! <laughs> and what the hell can you do? You do know that your brother was far stronger than you. And yes, I know everything about you, Champa. And if you're stronger than your brother, then you might have a chance. But the fact that your brother's way stronger than you, and I was able to kill him, how do you expect to attack me? Like this! Champa went and he used his destroyer mode. Now then, I'd like to see what he can do! Without any warning, Champa went and he rushed right towards Goku and he uppercut Goku, getting to be sent flying high in the air. Vados tried her best to stop Champa from doing so, but then Whis has arrived and told us to stand down. Since Champa is the first one to attack Goku, the destroyer has every right to kill each other. As Goku saw that, Whis gave him the go ahead and from there Goku smiled as he looked towards Champa and said, Is that all the power you got Champa? <laughs> Here, I thought that you might be stronger, but you're actually pretty weak. How dare you! Champa went and he powered up a Hakai Blast and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku smiled as he caught the blast with one hand and he managed to disperse it and said, You foolish fat cat, you forgot I'm also able to have the same power. Is that so, monkey? Well then, let's see what he got! 
Why did I just get a Frieza vibe right there? With that, Champa rushed right towards Goku as he tried to attack him, but Goku smiled and said, Okay then, you really want to fight me? Let me show you a little peek of my power. Goku went and he screamed. Goku with training with Whis and all and obviously since he's a destroyer was able to go beyond a Super Saiyan God as he is now transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue. Champa was unfazed by it as Goku smiled and said, Well then Champa, come on with everything you got. Champa went and rushed right towards Goku and he began to attack him with everything but Goku stood there like a punching bag letting Champa hit him non-stop. Goku then looked at him and said, Are you done now? You are too weak you fat cat. You need to get stronger if you want to survive. Goku went and he kneed Champa right in his stomach as he got him to gasp for air and with that Goku went and striked him across his face getting Champa to bleed out. Champa couldn't believe how powerful Goku was as he also knew that Goku is the strong and from there Goku went and he decked him right through his stomach but it got it to pierce through Champa getting him to gasp for air and he started to bleed a lot as he was about to die but he smiled and said I knew I would lose. That's why I came prepared. I managed to use the Dragon Ball. And now you'll see what's gonna happen to you. Goku went and he Hakai Champa, getting to be erased from existence. Is that so? Whenever it comes, I'm ready. Vados has returned right back to her world since she had orders that once when Champa dies, she knew that he was gonna die when he fights Goku. But Champa has already appointed someone else to be the destroyer for Universe 6 in Avenge Him, and that someone was no one other than Hit the Assassin. Well, though, now that Champa's dead, you are now going to be the destroyer for this universe. Sure, then, I'm ready. I'll do whatever it takes to be a good destroyer. Hmm, okay then. As Hit has officially become the destroyer for Universe 6. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has just killed Champa, the destroyer from Universe 6. As he entered Goku's universe and he wanted to start a fight with Goku and at the end of the day he paid a price. Goku didn't hold anything back as he displayed his new power Super Saiyan Blue and he went and killed Champa. With that, Whis has now arrived as he was amazed with Goku's power and said, My lord, your powers continue to grow a lot, Lord Kakarot. Also, we got ourselves in a big mess. Big mess? What do you mean? As Whis and Goku saw that Dai Shinken has arrived to their universe. Kakarot, Whis, might explain to me what is going on here? And why is it that a destroyer has fought and you two angels didn't do anything about it? Where is Vados? She went back to her universe, father. Well, what happened here? Uh, Lord Daishinken, if I may. He actually came to attack me. It was just purely self-defense. I had no choice but to attack him back. You do know that the rule is, destroyers are not allowed to fight with one another, right? I understand that, my lord, but again, it was self-defense. Father, Kakarot's right. He was doing nothing but self-defense. Champa initiated the fight. He wanted revenge for what Kakara did to Beerus, and because of that, he tried to kill him. I see. Well, Kakara, you're in the clear. You did nothing but self-defense, I understand. However, he is now gone, and he will never come back. You made sure of that. You erased him. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay then, I'll see you guys in a bit. As Dai Shigen has left right back to Zeno's world, Goku looked towards Whis and said, Shit, man. I just got the chills there. You're not the only one, Lord Kakarot. Well, then let's go right back to my world, Whis. I want to learn more of the Destroyer way. You got it. As Whis took Goku right back to his world and from there they began training as Goku continued to master the arts of Destroyer mode. While that was happening, little did Goku know, on Universe 6, 
Hit has now become the new destroyer for Universe 6, as Champa has already appointed him few months ago and that he was training with Vados for the last 8 months and now he was ready to take on the mantle of being the destroyer. Dai Shinkin came to that world as he gave Vados shit for letting Champa fight with Kakura but at the end of the day he understand why that it happened. With that, he has now appointed Hit to become a new destroyer for Universe 6. Hit was amazed to see that, as his first task was to go and get an army and from there he went and got some of the Saiyans to join his side as he got Kaba and he told Vados to train him, he got Khalifa and even Cal to join him and from there they all did a lot of training as few other warriors has come to train with them. Hit plan was to get everyone very strong so they could start a war with Universe 7 since he wanted to avenge Champa, that was one of the deal of becoming a destroyer and his job is to make sure that Universe 7 gets wiped out because if another fight happens between the destroyer, it's gonna be coming to the result where the universe will be wiped out. Hit as a destroyer noticed that his people were getting stronger so they could be ready for the war and he also decided an idea to have them fuse and to make it permanently. They all continue to train a lot as they're all getting ready and as you know it a few months has passed and now it was time for Hit to infiltrate Universe 7 with his men and destroy Kakarot along with that universe so that that universe can be erased and from there he'll take the Super Dragon Balls and he'll claim it to be his own. While that was happening on Goku's world, Goku has now finished his training with Whis as he was sitting there meditating and from there Goku continued to feel a rush of power. He was able to use his full destroyer mode but he wasn't exactly able to tap into it 100%. You could say it was like the half version of it as he tried to find a way of how to do so and from there Whis came towards Goku and told him to let's go visit planet Saiyans since Goku did want to visit that planet and from there they went and they kai kai towards planet Saiyans. Once when they got there, they then saw Vegeta and Nappa and Raditz were all training as they continued to progress and from there Kakura had an idea of getting Vegeta to come train with him and ask him to become part of the destroyer path too. That way he can be prepared for anything that happens to worst planet Saiyans. As everyone began talking among each other and from there, they all sense a lot of power coming towards their universe on their planet as there was no one other than Hit and his men. So this is the place we have to attack huh? Wow, look at all the Saiyans, their power is amazing, but it's nothing that we cannot handle. I'm still weird out how you two became permanently fused. Shut up Kaba. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing here in my world? Why did you guys come here? Who are you? And why did you guys come towards my world? What do you guys want? Enough of your bickering. I have come here with one goal and that is to kill the destroyer for Universe 7. My name is Hit. I am Hit the Assassin who is also a destroyer for Universe 6 and my one and only goal is to avenge Lord Champa. I have come here to kill you Kakarot. What? Another destroyer? And you say you're from Universe 6? That is right. Champa has appointed me to become the destroyer before dying. Oh so that's what he meant by he had a trump card. And damn, your power is amazing. Michael says already you're far stronger than that fat ass. I don't care what I am. I'm here to avenge him and take the super dragon balls. Give me those and have a peaceful death. Or otherwise you'll have a most painful death you could ever imagine. Is that so? Well then help before Goku can say another word. Hit has arrived right in front of him as it uses time skip and he decked Goku right in his stomach. Getting Goku to gasp for air and he began to bleed from his mouth. All the Saiyans were shocked to see that as Kaba went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. With that Kaba went and he tried to attack them but Vegeta quickly went as he already was inside his Super Saiyan Blue form and from there he went and strike Kaba across his face getting to be sent flying meters away. With that he saw that more fighters from Universe 6 has arrived as Kelfla went and she transformed into her Super Saiyan Blue.
who wants to die first? Her power was really amazing, as Nappa went and he tried to attack her, but she went and one shot Nappa, getting to be sent flying towards the ground. Everyone saw her power as Vegeta was busy fighting with Kappa, and from there Broly went, and he already was in his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God. Broly then went and rushed right towards Kafla, as she did the same and both their power has clashed one another and they are going at it. Hit and Goku were going at it as Goku quickly recovered and said, Not bad, okay then, you wanna fight, then let's fight. Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Now then, let's see what you got. Hmm, bring it on then. With that, Goku went and he charged right to his head and he striked him across his face, getting his to be sent flying meters away. Goku then followed as he went and he striked hit right in his back. Hit fell right towards the ground, but from there hit quickly went and he used an attack you call the time prison. As he went and he sealed Goku in a time prison, getting Goku to be stuck there. Goku was too strong in his Super Saiyan Blue as he easily went and he broke through the time prison and said, This is pathetic. Here I thought that your power would be much stronger. What is this? What? How could you break through my time prison? It is time you know why. Goku came right in front of Hit and he began to beat the shit out of him. Hit managed to go and separate himself from Goku and said, Okay then, how about I use my full power too? As Hit went and he used his destroyer mode. With that, Hit went and he came right towards Goku as he tried to attack him but yet again Super Saiyan Blue 4 Goku was able to see him coming as Goku went and he kneed Hit right in his stomach and he striked him across his face and just before Goku can do another move, he got decked in the back, getting him to be sent flying hitters away. When Goku got up, he saw it was another destroyer. Oh, Champa, a favor, especially hit after when he saved my life before I became a destroyer, so here I am to repay the death. And after all, I never liked you to begin with. Oh shit, it's that Pennywise destroyer. <laughs> Call me whatever you want, I'm gonna end your life right here. As Goku saw the hit went, and he powered up his key along with Vermont, and both of them went and rushed right towards Goku, and before Goku can know it, he got striked by both of them, as he didn't see it coming. Goku then fell towards the ground as he got up and from there he powered up his ki to his fullest and he charged right towards him and their power clashed with each other as they were going at it. Goku saw that he was getting overpowered by them after all it is two destroyers versus him as head went and he threw in Hakai wave towards Goku while Vermont went and he grabbed onto Goku and he threw him towards a blast. Goku managed to go and disperse it but Vermont went and strike Goku as Hit did the same and they began to beat the shit out of him. Barda couldn't stand by seeing his son get attacked by them as he rushed into the battle and from there he decked Vermont right in his face but saw it did nothing. Vermont looked towards him and said, What the hell are you doing? Get out of here, Hakai. Vermont went and he hakai Bardock getting to be erased from existence. Goku saw that, as he couldn't believe that his father got hakai and from there, he got really angry and said, oh, You should not have done that! And now, you guys gonna know what it means to die! And what the hell can you do? Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Go!
Goku has now gone and used his full destroyer mode. Or you can call it Ultra Ego. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku, after seeing his father died, has now finally gone and displayed a power which no one has ever seen before. And when I say no one, I mean literally no one. This power is pretty much impossible to get, but thanks to this what if power, Goku was able to now get Super Saiyan 4 Ultra Ego. After training with Whis, obviously he is a destroyer, it's in his blood, he was able to now use his destroyer power to his fullest and now he has transformed into a Ultra Ego Super Saiyan 4. Nevertheless, his power was beyond a amazing which no one could ever comprehend. While Whis on the other hand was really in proud of Goku, he couldn't believe that Goku finally went and tapped into the power which he was trying to teach him, but from there Goku looked towards Ramon and said, you have made a bad choice by killing my father right in front of me, for that I'm gonna kill you Ramon. Haha, <laughs> is that so? All you did was just go purple, I'm not afraid of you. What? Can you not sense his power? Holy shit, his power is... Amazing! What the? We have to fight that? Hits was busy tripping out while Goku looked towards Ramon and said, You're dead! Without even giving him a second to move, Goku came right in front of Ramon as he went and striked him right in his guts, getting Ramon to gasp for air and from there Goku went and decked him as he got sent flying meters away. Goku then rushed right towards Ramon as his power clashed with Ramon and they were going at him. <laughs> Goku then went and he uppercut Ramon, getting to be sent fly high in the air as he came right behind him and from there he went and striked him right in his back. Ramon fell right towards the ground. When it comes to Goku, let's just talk about his personality right here. If you compare this Goku to the canon Goku, he is completely different. This Goku has a killer instinct right in his eyes. He is ready to go for blood. He doesn't care who he's fighting. And when he first started out this what if, if you guys remember, Goku started off as a very nice and pure hearted kid who was just born as a Super Saiyan 4. But after meeting with everyone that he has met with and meeting with Beerus and all that and becoming a destroyer, you could say after being a destroyer really changed Goku. He has seen how the universe is and that he sees that there's only one way to make everything work out and that is blood. You wanna fight with me? Alright, bring it on. I'll kill you. I don't care who you are. That is the mentality that Goku has, which he has got inside him ever since he has become a destroyer and because of that he was able to unlock his ultra ego. Goku with that killer mind went and rushed right towards Vermont as he began to beat the shit out of him and as you know it, Goku went and struck him right in his guts, getting Vermont to be bleeding out as he stabbed right towards him and he said, it is time you die right here Pennywise, goodbye. Goku went and unleashed a Hakai wave and he got Ramon to be erased from existence. Hit in the other hand was tripping out, after all he just saw Goku kill Ramon like if he was nothing. Goku then looked towards Hit and said, are you ready to die Hit? Whoa whoa chill. Look, I, I don't, Hit did not know what to say as Goku came right in front of him and he kicked him right in his face, getting Hit to be sent flying nerds away. Hit tried to stop himself but Goku came right next to him as he kneed him right in his guts. Kefla and everyone was busy losing their battle but from there Broly and everyone started to pay their attention towards Goku since they did see that Goku was being rootless and his power was beyond amazing. At the same time, they all wondered if Goku would show mercy to them or not. Goku then went and he uppercut Hit as he followed right towards him and said, You're an idiot Hit, all this could have been avoided but you had to go and avenge a fat ass cat and because of that you're going to die right here. Hey wait please, how about this? I don't want to fight man, you're way powerful than me. I accept truth, and if anything I'll be your ally. Universe 6 and 7 can work together, come on. Goku then had a hard time to say yes but he decided to spare Hit's life. One thing I want to maintain when it comes to Goku is the pure heart inside him. When someone begs for mercy, he will show their mercy. He will not be like no. But if they do something very bad, that is a different story when it comes to Goku's personality. Goku after sparing Hit's life and agreed they shook each other's hand as they saw that the war was finally over. With that everyone came to celebrate as they were really happy that both of the universe can now finally work together while Hit apologized to Goku and he was amazed with Goku's power and from there they began to go and make plans on how they can make universe 6 and 7 a better place. But from there, Whis came right in front of Goku as he didn't have time to react and he took him by his hand and he used the staff and he disappeared. 
From there, Goku has now arrived towards a random place and said, What the hell's going on, Whis? Why'd you move me? I saved your life, Kakarot! Look at this! We showed Goku his staff and Goku saw, Universe 6 and 7 has been erased. What? What the? Why does... What happened, Whis? Well, apparently, my lord, I think it's because you and Hit fought, Zeno decided to go and erase both of you guys' universe. Zeno erased my universe? <sighs> How dare he! My lord, what are you gonna do? Control yourself. I just cannot sit around, Whis. I need to bring them back. And what's worse, they have the Super Dragon Balls. If you want to get them, you're gonna have to go to Zeno's palace and get them, but if he sees you, he will erase you too. But why would he do that? My lord, you have broke the rule. Although you have not broke the rule, Hit has, you have paid the price. <sighs> there goes my universe, man. I did everything I can to maintain that. God damn it! While Goku was soaked in anger, after all, he has done everything he can to be complete opposite from Beerus and actually worked for Universe 7 to be a better place, as he managed to do such a phenomenal job, he got Universe 7 to have a high mortal power level, and because of that, if the turn of power has ever happened inside this what if, Universe 7 would not be included because they are number one. Goku managed to get all the Saiyans to get God Key, and on top of that, some of them have Super Saiyan 4 and can go beyond God Key? <laughs> what else can you ask for? Goku was really upset that his effort went to waste, and he was also upset that Planet Earth has also got destroyed along with Hit since he had a plan to make Universe 6 and 7 unite. Goku then looked towards Whis and said, Whis, I want to go to Zeno's world, I need to get the Super Dragon Balls at any cost. My lord, she might die. If it is, then I'll kill him myself. You think you can, my lord? Of course I can, Whis, after all you're my trainer. I must admit, after you achieve this power, your power has increased so much that it's even stronger than me. Well, yeah. Well then, hurry up. Huh? Oh. Hi, Vados. It's good to see you're still alive. Well, I'm an angel. I will not die. Well then, okay then. Let's go to Zeno's palace. As we decide to go and take Goku towards Zeno's world. Once when they got to Zeno's world, Zeno on the other hand, while Goku and Hit were fighting, let's take a little bit back forward to see what exactly occurred inside this moment. When Goku and Hit were busy fighting, Zeno got the alert from Dai Shinken. Looks like he was a snitch. Shame on you, Dai Shinken. He told Shinken that, hey, look, something's going on in this universe. Zeno's like, what's going on? Apparently, my lord, it appears that Universe 6 and 7 are fighting. After me giving a warning, they had decided to still fight. Both of the destroyers are going at it. Well, then we have to destroy that universe. Your guards are right, my lord. That universe has to be erased. Okay, then. I don't mind if they are trying to fight each other, but since they broke the rule, I say let's erase them. With that, Zeno went and he shined a blast, and that's when Whis could sense something was happening, and he quickly got Goku before he could be erased, and he disappeared as Universe 6 and 7 has been erased because they broke the rule. With that, Goku and everyone has now arrived to Zeno's world, as Goku was furious with anger, but Daishiki went out, he wasn't there at the moment, but from there, Zeno heard that they have arrived, as his guard came towards Goku and said, Hey, who the hell do you think you are? Get lost! Wait, you're from Universe 7! Looks like you survived, huh, sneaky bastard? We're gonna have to kill you too! Oh yeah, over my dead body! Goku went and he decked him right across their face as he killed one of them and with that he took the other one and he picked them up and threw them right towards the ground and he hakai them as they also got erased from existence. Zeno saw that as Zeno got out with anger and said, How dare you do that to my guard? And you're supposed to die! How are you alive? Well, I kinda saved him. You're gonna pay for that, Whis! How dare you destroy my universe! I worked so hard to make that universe a better place and you went and erased it like it was nothing! Well, then you're gonna die too! Before Zeno can go and lift his hand to erase Goku, Goku was already inside his alter ego as you recall and with that he came right in front of Zeno and he decked him right towards his stomach, getting him to pierce right towards Zeno. As Zeno couldn't move, he saw that he was pretty much dead, you know? Goku pierced right through him, what could you do? But this Goku was really angry after all, never upset a destroyer, Goku especially inside the Super Saiyan 4 state? Damn. Goku, without showing any mercy whatsoever, went and he Hakai Zeno and he erased him from existence. With that, Goku got decked in the face as he saw Dai Chicken has arrived. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make.
Goku has just gone and done the impossible. No one would imagine that Goku would do this, but he went and killed Zeno. After all, Zeno was the one who erased his universe, and Goku felt that was a very big insult towards him, especially as a destroyer. He has done everything he can ever since he's become a destroyer to make sure Universe 7 remains the number one universe in the multiverse, as he made all the mortals be really strong, but Zeno went and erased it like it was nothing, and the reason to that was because Goku broke some rules, but do you call it breaking rules if he was doing self-defense? That was Goku's excuse as he got really angry so he killed Zeno. With that, Daishinkin was really angry as he struck Goku across his face and when Goku got up he saw Daishinkin was there and said, How dare you do that to Lord Zeno? Oh, so you're here to defend that football, huh? He went and erased my universe! That is called learning the ways of the god. Shit like this happened. If a destroyer doesn't obey, he will lose his universe. And if Zeno, the lord of all the multiverse, has destroyed the universe, there's nothing you can do about it. I could shit do everything about it. After all, he has the super dragon balls. That's the reason why I came here. I need them. Give it to me, Daishinken. No, I will not give it to you. You went and killed Zeno, and because of that, you leave us no choice but have all the angels turn their back against you and kill you. Weez, what are you waiting for? Kill the traitor! I'm afraid I won't do that, father. Kakra here is in the right. I cannot do that to him. Heh, <laughs> thanks, Weez. You're my dog. I always knew you had my back. Anytime, bro. How oh, dare you, Weez. You're gonna disobey us? Hey, shorty, your battle's with me then. How about this? If I manage to beat you, the Super Dragon Balls are mine. Okay, then. You really want to fight with me? Do you have any idea who I am? I don't care who you are, I have an ambition, I have a goal, you're just nothing, and because of that, I'll have the power to win this battle, let's do it! <laughs> Damn, Goku without even thinking, he is too much in rage as he decided to go and challenge the strongest to ever exist, Daishinkan. Daishinkan got into his ready position as he's ready to go attack Goku, while Goku did the same and with that, their battle has now begun. Daishinken went and charged right towards Goku, while Goku did the same, and both their power clashed with one another, and they were going at it. Goku went and he striked Daishinken right in his stomach as he followed up and he kicked him. Daishinken did a backflip as he went and charged right towards Goku, and he decked him right in his face, getting Goku to bleed from his mouth. Goku was in a press and said, <laughs> Not bad. I never thought you'd have this power, but you forgot. I'm in my destroyer mode. Each attack I get, I get stronger. Huh. <laughs> you don't think I know that? Let's see what you got then. With that, Goku went and he charged right towards Daishinken. As he tried to kick him, but Daishinken instantly disappeared and came right in front of him. Goku tried to do it again, but Daishinken did the same thing. We saw that Daishinken was using his angel instinct as he continued to dodge all of Goku's attack like if they were nothing. Few angels came to witness this battle since they were already there. After all, it is a battle between a destroyer versus the father of all angels. And Goku is labeled to be a traitor. If he loses battle, he will be now, you could say, KO'd. Because if he wins, he's gonna have to fight with the rest of the angels. Unless he managed to beat the father of all angels. From there, Goku went and he continued to attack Dai Shinken. But Dai Shinken started to go and use his power as he went and broke Goku's arm. Goku was in pain as he couldn't feel it and from there Daishinken went and striked him right in his face, getting Goku to fall right towards the ground. Goku then got up as Whis was ready to go and help and from there Daishinken went and said, You are pathetic. Is this all the power you got? Here I thought that you'd be far stronger than this. Now let me show you what happens when a destroyer turned their back and towards the gods. <sighs> okay then, I see you're very strong, but there's only one way I know how I'll beat you. With that, Daishin was ready to go and power up an attack to kill Goku, but before he could unleash it, Goku took weeds and he kai kai away. As Daishin saw that, Goku disappeared and said, Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Alright then, I have time to make a message. Listen up, follow angels. We have a betrayer in our group. He, his name is Kakarot, the destroyer from Universe 7. He has now gone rogue. If you see him, kill him. Don't spear him. Daishinken, if he won, he could have gone and used the Super Dragon Balls to wish for Zeno to come back. But the only thing was, he had to wait just for a little bit longer before the Super Dragon Balls can be used, since it was already used before. With that, Goku has now instant transmission away, as he took Weez and he came to Supreme Kai's world all beaten up. From there, Supreme Kai saw as Weez went and he used his staff on Goku and he healed him. 
Weezen told Supreme Kai about what happened, and from there they were very shocked as they couldn't believe what they heard. Are you crazy, Goku? Did you really go and kill the Omni King? Of course I did. He destroyed our universe. What do you want me to do about it? God damn, Goku! But wait, why are you guys still alive? I thought he killed everyone from Universe 7. Well, for our luck, we were not there. When that happened, we were actually in a meeting with all the Kais. And when we came back, we saw our universe been erased and we were told to be in standby until they find us a new home. Man, no wonder you guys are in a weird place. I just used my sense to sense where Supreme Kai is since we're linked, and I came straight here. Old Kai, I will need your help. What is it, Goku? I need you to unleash my potential. Hmm, finally you come to do that! Alright then, let's begin it! As Old Kai went and he began to go and help Goku unleash his potential, which took about 48 hours. Whis knew that a lot of angels were going to come to kill Goku, after all he has been labeled a wanted destroyer and if anyone sees him, they have to kill him. Whis then put a barrier so no one can sense where they are, as Goku began getting his potential unleashed from the old Kai. And as you know it, while that was happening, trouble has yet arise again. Just when Goku thought that he can almost get his potential unleashed, since 24 hours has passed, he still has another 24 hours, two angels has come, as they're from Universe 11 and Universe 1. And another one has come from Universe 3, as they all sense that Goku was here hiding and from there, we saw and said, what are you guys doing here? You are a traitor, Whis. We're here to kill you. I'm gonna have fun destroying you, Whis. Over my dead body. As Goku has arrived right next to Whis. Everyone saw that Goku, without wasting any time, went, transformed into his Ultra Ego Super Saiyan 4. As he looked towards the angel and said, you guys want to die? And I know who you are. You're Vermont's angel, huh? Of course you came here for the attention of revenge. Bring it on. Ha. Huh. I don't care what you did, I'm just happy I could kill you. With that, Vados has arrived and said, I will support Kakarot. If he manages to defeat the Omni King and kill Dai Shinken, he could be the next Omni King. What? Me? Yes, that's how it works, Kakarot. We're gonna need you to watch over all of us. Whatever, I just want my universe to come back. With that, their battle has begun. Without wasting any time, Whis went and he charged right towards Sour as he strike him right in his face as Whis and Sour are going at it. Margarita and Vados went and they began attacking one another while Angel from Universe 1 came towards Goku. Goku without wasting any time went and he dodged his attack as he decked him right in his face and from there Goku began to go and beat the shit out of him. He got his potential unlocked for the 24 hour which is half of it and because of that it gave him a huge boost to his power as Goku began to beat the shit out of him like if it was nothing and from there Goku killed him with the Hakai wave. Whis went and he was about to strike Sour but from there. Goku came from the back as he stabbed Sour right in his stomach, and he hakai him and killed him right there. I'm sorry, Reese, but we need to hurry this very quick. Of course. With that, they went to help Vados, and they managed to kill Margarita. With that, Goku went, and he continued to get his potential unlocked by the old Kai, as Dai Shinken got the news from other angels telling him what happened. Damn it, this Kakra is getting really strong, huh? Alright then, I know he's gonna come for me. I'm waiting here. Tell all the angels to stand down. He wants to fight me one on one, tell him to bring it on. It would appear Dai Shigen does not want to back off from his idea of letting Goku use the Super Dragon Balls. He could easily end his war by giving him the Dragon Balls and let Goku wish for his universe to come back, and if anything, he could be the replacement of Zeno, but Dai Shigen has his pride. After all, Goku did kill the Omni King, that is not allowed in the God Realm. With that, Dai Shigen was waiting for Goku as Goku continued to get his potential on Legion, as you know what guys? It was time! Goku's potential has finally been unleashed as he went and he started to train with Whis and Vados and he wanted to train alone in the chamber so he could get really strong. Dai Shigen waited 3 days for Goku as Goku did everything he can to get himself ready and now he has come and said, Alright Whis, I'm ready, let's do this! With that Goku went and he took Vados and Whis and he kai kai them to Zeno's world. On Zeno's world, Goku has now arrived as he saw that Dai Shiken was sitting there and said, Well, looks like you took your time to come here, huh? I can see you're ready for a battle. Okay then, bring it on. Goku went and he already used his Ultra Ego. As Goku stared right towards Dai Shiken and said, If I win, the Super Dragon Balls are mine. With that, all the angels has come to see the battle, since this battle is going to decide if Goku gets to become the next Omni King or not. Dai Shiken smiled and said, Bring it on then. 
And as you know it, their battle has begun. Goku went and he charged right towards Dai Shinken as Dai Shinken did the same, and both their power clashed with one another, and they were going at it. Goku then went and he uppercut Dai Shinken as he took him by his face and he kai kai away to a remote planet and threw him down there. All the angels followed as Dai Shinken went and he striked Goku right in his stomach, getting him to gasp for air but from there Goku went and he punched him back and they kept this up for some time. Both of them were going at it since Goku is fighting to get his universe to be alive again while Dai Shinken is fighting for the pride of Zeno. After all, Goku did kill him, he has to end Goku's life while Goku wants to go and use the Super Dragon Balls to wish for his universe to come back. Goku powered up his key to his fullest as he charged right towards Dai Shinken and he was able to hold his own against him. Dai Shinken went and continued to hit Goku with everything he's got, but Goku was able to dodge and counter it, but he wasn't able to hit him back as he tried to do so, but Dai Shinken would attack him instantly. Goku then smiled and said, I would expect this from you nevertheless. Goku reverted right back to his base and said, it is time I use my full power. What do you say? Are you ready to see my full transformation? What the hell are you talking about? I got a new form thanks to getting my potential unleashed. It is called Crimson Saiyan. The full version of a destroyer Saiyan. Let me show you! <laughs> Goku, after getting his potential unleashed by the old Kai, he was able to achieve this new power which he wants to call it, the Crimson Saiyan. This is the Crimson Saiyan Goku. As you can see, Goku was not joking when he said he had a power beyond his ultra ego. And it looks like Goku's ready to go and put an end towards Dai Shigen with this power. Dai Shigen smiled and said, your power is amazing. I cannot, before he can say another word, Goku came right in front of Dai Shinken and he decked him right in his neck, getting to gasp for air as he began to choke onto his own deck. Goku looked towards him and said, I'm gonna end your life here once and for all, Dai Shinken. And with that, the Super Dragon Balls are mine. <sighs> I cannot believe it. I didn't see him come. His speed was just incredible. With that, Dai Shinken got up as he began to go and use full power and from there he instant transmission right behind Goku but Goku went and elbowed it right in his face Dai Chicken went and used his speed again as he continued to go everywhere trying to make Goku to be caught off guard but Goku was able to sense each and every one of his moves as when Dai Chicken went and attacked Goku Goku caught it with his fist and said your moves are so easy to read like a book you don't stand a chance against me is that so? Goku saw that was a decoy as the real one appeared and it powered up in an angel blast and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku got hit but little did he knew. Each time this Saiyan form gets attacked, it becomes stronger. Goku saw that his power continued to increase as Dai Shiken saw that his attack did nothing to Goku. He was very shocked and said, what the hell is this? This is the power of the Crimson Saiyan Dai Shinken. now die! Goku went and rushed right towards Dai Shinken as he striked him right in his stomach, getting to be sent flying meters away. He then followed and from there he went and kicked him and started to beat the shit out of him. Dai Shinken did not stood a chance against Goku as he had no idea that Goku would come up with this type of power. And from there Goku went and he powered up a universal Kamehameha wave and said, It is time I kill you here once and for all. Now die! Goku went and aimed the wave right towards Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken on the other hand tried to hold it off but it was too strong as the wave hit him head on and he died right there. Goku has now gone and destroyed Dai Shinken as he was able to go and kill him using a power called the Crimson Saiyan. With that Goku then got the Super Dragon Balls as all the angels have gave it to them since they saw that he has killed the father of all angels they don't want to beef with Goku otherwise they will die. Goku went and he summoned the Super Dragon Ball as the Super Dragon came out and he told Whis to ask for Universe 6 and 7 to be restored. Whis did so as it happened and from there everyone wanted to make Goku the Omni King. Goku told him that there won't be no any Omni King anymore but he will be the one to watch over all the universe if anything bad happens and he wants to continue to make all the universe live in peace as he's happy to be a destroyer for Universe 7 and with that Goku and Whis has returned right back to Universe 7 
as they saw all their loved ones and Goku was very happy to see that everyone's okay but little did they knew that Goku was able to go and kill the two strongest being to ever exist in this multiverse. This is what I believe would have happened if Goku was born as a Super Saiyan 4. I want to thank you all very much for watching and supporting me on this series. It has been a long journey, almost took a month and a half, but now it's finally completed. And I really appreciate you guys watching this series. If you haven't, join my Discord server yet. What are you guys waiting for? Click that link in the description below and join it. And please give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my boy Vegeta T23, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and subscribe to him and help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. I'm Google T23, and as always, my Z fans. Have an insane day. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.